saw my my uh, my oldest daughter from behind the felony tape. this intro music over what's good yella what's good y'all man we here man we in the after hours officially thank y'all so much it's the world's greatest gas mask try tv podcast where we felt out that bull we got the greatest yella in here from chicago Gang. chicago what's native good? chicago tribe what's good man how you doing yella uh, i'm all good man i'm all good uh I you guys have you don't come, is it Chicago? You don't want to come here. I I've make been sure, to Chicago. We're gonna, sure, we gonna make sure you we're gonna make sure you don't leave. Oh my gosh. <laughs> when is Taste Chicago, of Chicago? Right? Isn't mm. that like July? It's around it's around July. Yeah, it's around fourth of July. Yeah. That's like such a fun time. Y'all hit yeah. that like button if y'all haven't already. Hit that mother loving like button, man. Hit that like button right now. But so it don't cost you anything. Stuff. But yeah, you people, let's talk about sh- it. Let's talk about the after hours. But y'all go ahead. I'm gonna let um I'm gonna let Miss Cat lead the way. But y'all go ahead and um yeah, let's talk about it. Make y'all, y'all become a member. <laughs> um we want you guys to like and subscribe. So hit the button down below so that we can talk to you more often. Okay. We but, want to be a member too. Yeah. You want to become a member. Please so become a us. member. Please become a member. <laughs> and see all of us and say nice, bubbly, warm things to us. And we can help you guys out. So become a member, subscribe. All right. So let's talk about <laughs> these men. The good guys that are good parents are oh. excellent. Excellent, excellent, because they actually care and they're involved. The ones that aren't needs prayer <laughs> in a big way. Cat, we enjoy it for sure. Thank you. I enjoy you guys too. You sure they read that last comment? <laughs> it just popped up. Nah, not that one. The one before. <laughs> Wait, Cat, you need to get a deep stroke massage. I do need a massage. <laughs> I just said that yesterday. I have a massage chair and I didn't even get in it the whole weekend and I was stressed out. I need to get a massage. (laughs) But yeah. So let's talk about it. What's up with the what's up with the video? Is he gonna play a video? Because he said he wanted to play another video for us, I guess to get us back on track. No, I already played. I played. I, I play. I'm man. I'm making my latte right now. I played the two videos earlier. <laughs> oh, okay, and, okay. Uh, I, I mean, y'all gotta have y'all debacle about the whole like, you know what I mean? Where I was going, I didn't want to stop y'all, but I know I had to get through the show. But like, you know what I mean? Now we in the after hours. Now y'all can talk shit. Now you know what okay, I mean? Okay, so what? Yeah. So we left off saying what though? What were we talking about? Because it was like you heated and then it stopped. Go ahead, Tom. What? What happened? Oh, no, I think you were talking about how a, a girl should be homeless, but as long as you're paying support, the kids are taken care of or something. Who somebody, said that? Me? No, not you, but I'm saying oh, somebody was saying that. And I was just like, no, that's not the case. You can't have a homeless parent and say your kids are okay. Like, 
I mean, shit. I feel like it's just. I think it's more so saying like the woman just at that point she just not the man's responsibility. The kid, yeah, but I just feel like most people, most people gonna feel like that, and that's vice versa. Not just the man ain't the. I mean, the woman ain't the man's responsibility, but they gonna feel the same way vice versa that the man ain't the woman's responsibility. Well, she isn't your responsibility unless you were married to her but that's a whole nother subject but um she's not your responsibility but it is the man's responsibility to make sure their kids are safe so right so tell her give up her child so tell her give up the child well, is that, that what's best like for your that. child yeah if she homeless and i got a, a, a place to say send what the child if she's this not way. homeless and she's just uh, not that's place. her problem that's her problem and she if, the should be woman enough. if the conditions ain't good Go enough for the child to be there, then send her with me or send them with and me. If, and, a, and a good mother would be like, you know what? Let me go ahead and go make ahead. sure my kid is straight. Oh, they have. More women are doing that. They're just dumping the kids off of the day. No, 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 no. But that's not because the conditions is better. That's because they backing out of their responsibility. It's a lot of mamas quiet quitting being mamas right now. I done seen too many Insta I done seen an Instagram post yesterday about this chick who was complaining. Who no, nah, not who she wasn't complaining, but she was basically like, I can't I can't take care of my son properly because I'm mad at his dad. So I'ma send him with his it was a whole three. At day three, he I I sent him back to his dad's house for punishment. Cause he was yeah, acting that's up totally, being that's a totally it's, different it's, situation it's, from a it's woman not though is. it's not though it's it's not though it's a it's a variant of multiple situations it's not a different situation it's just a variant of the situation because you got a lot of mamas that say they good mamas but the baby be with grandma all weekend why you had this well, where's the dad why he, didn't he pick the kids up on friday and stay with them why friday? won't she give him to him well if he moved away to texas with his new matter. girlfriend it don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. You know what I mean? It don't matter. See, that's okay. the problem. That's the problem. That's the Come problem. On. His yeah. new girlfriend, his new girlfriend uh, don't have a damn thing yeah. to do with that. That's the problem. It ain't that he moved away. The distance ain't shit. You don't want your child anyway. So what did the difference? What does the distance make? The problem is right. you don't want to she don't want to send him there because the because that girlfriend there. Exactly. The exactly. Personally, right. as if you're a good mom, right. and I'm exactly. still, I'm speaking for good moms. It's like no how we way I would feel comfortable having my kids around another woman who may not treat my kids right. It's our but they, responsibility but, as parents. It's our responsibility mm -hmm, as parents mm -hmm. to make sure our kid is safe. So and now it's not I'm one single good. mama on here that think of any other woman could do a better job with her child than her. So it's never going to be a situation where like, oh yeah, she's a good mom. It's going to be have to be some old extenuating ass circumstances. Dang. I'm going to tell you right now. I, would, I mean, I'm just saying I would never give my kids away for another woman to be raising or taking care of. No exactly. Way. Exactly. No so way. you would rather take your child and go suffer, go be homeless. Go well, have to get on. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be no, I'm not either. you, cat. Not you, cat. But it's no, a I'm lot saying, of women that's that think I'm, I'm just saying it's, most it's women. It's really not, though. It's really not. Because if you look at most of these women we talking about, they live in low income. They looking for a nigga trying to take care of them. They, it's the reason why they were saying about them signing up for the benefits that the dad automatically get put on. They can put anybody on that damn, uh, anybody on that damn paper. And that person, like I, like, I ain't going to lie. I came up here with a lot of shit because I'm in the chat and y'all seen me like link, 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 link. Like it's a, it's, it was a bunch of misinformation that got put up here. You know what I'm saying? It was it was a bunch of misinformation that was said up here. Here's here's what I'm saying. I'm sorry you guys dealt with ratchet women. No, no. But most women no, are no, not ratchet no, no, women. No, no, though. It ain't no, just no, women. no, no. Yeah, and that's the and that's the first thing women. and that's the first thing it's I'm gonna address. Not, and that's the first thing I'm gonna address. And catch you know, catch you know, I stand for you all the time because I throw the cats in the chat all the time. But this is where I'm. This is where I'm like I'm gonna really like talk to you straight up. Right, I noticed that in certain parts, I like watching the show because I also like seeing people on screen and how they naturally react to stuff. Right, you mm -hmm. cringe at the fact of even thinking that the woman could even remotely be responsible for any negativity in the parenting situation. But you, you, it's like, it's like you want to continue to see it from this rose colored glasses that the man is usually the one who's causing the issue. So it's easy to be like, oh, well, if y'all dealing with ratchet women and blah, 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 well, 
That's not necessarily that sounds the case. Ratchet. If you're saying a woman wants that's to get on, the, if she wants to get on EBT, right, and she doesn't want to work and she doesn't want to better herself and she's not trying to take care of her kids, that is ratchet. Outside of the taking care of your kids and EBT, that's what most women' mission is: is to not work and have somebody take care of them. So. It's no. really part of the course for normal women. All we doing is talking about people with kids because one thing I ain't finna do is knock a woman for going to get the benefits. Ladies, right. are, because, you because, because, get the benefits. are y'all hearing this? Be, because because I, I, I got only on living to get EBT. I got on benefits. <laughs> no. Excuse me. Hold on. Hold is on. That what I, is that what I said? Wait, wait a minute. First of all, hey, I'm that's not that's ratchet. I'll, I'll I rewind. got on benefits, right. but I got on benefits because I was on medical leave. Right. So I, I didn't said, want to bury another daughter. I buried my first daughter, lost my second baby. So the only way medically for me to have a baby successfully was I had to be off of my feet. And that meant I had to be put into the system, which I did not want to do. But it was great because that's what I needed to do. So I didn't bury another baby. So everybody's not ratchet. Yeah, and just looking for benefits to be welfare. looking for benefits. Exactly. Every woman is not saying, oh, I want to get a free check or I'm going to take him because I need. That's not the case. Most people are in that situation because they actually need help. If you're dealing with someone who is purposely not going to school or purposely not trying to better herself, she's ratchet. But if it's somebody who's trying to better herself and she's in a rut or she had a bad situation or you mm. left out on her before she got a chance to get prepared. That's not a. That's not somebody we should be bashing mm. her as mm. hey, as kids away. Hey, but most most people in this go for both sexes. From what I, from me seeing it with my own eyes, like most of, most people is going on the county and shit just because they it's an extra income. So most, most of the people, people that's on the, most, most people, people that's on the are county don't even need county it because they want to be broke. What? It ain't because they want to be broke. If you have a choice to be wealthy, if you have a choice to be wealthy you, you, or even, be you broke, miss, you think they're going to take being broke? You you miss, you miss construing the, I mean, like, you taking it in wrong. You taking the words in wrong. I'm not saying they choosing to be broke. But if you you're got county, you're going to end up, I mean, they only give you so much to get by to so much. That's why you should be working. Unless, you know, the, unless you know how to fuck the system. And a lot of people know how to fuck the system. Don't play with that system, man. That motherfucker is weird. Every time. They oh, undefeated. I'm... They batting a thousand percent. So that's oh, why I say this. Pay your pay your shit. Pay your shit. All but this this, like we shouldn't be, we should not be assuming that every single woman who desires and deserves child support is no good or needs their kids stripped away from them because they need you guys' to support. That's not what yeah. that's not what we're saying. But that's how you guys are kind of coming off. It's like all oh, these women, they just trying to get in our pockets and they won't let us. And it's no, like, that's, no, how, it's trans that's how it's translating, Kat. That's how it's translating through your filter. Yeah. Nobody's saying that. You saying you said if the mother was in the back in, in, in bad shape and the conditions was better for that child to live with their dad, that should happen. You have an issue with that. I do. Okay. I do so because, okay, hold on. Wait, wait, Kat, wait, Kat, wait, Kat, wait, 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 wait. I can tell you exactly why your issue is that. Because of your prejudice of I mean not your prejudice, but your perceived notion that for some reason the mother should always have possession of the child. Because the no, mother I would think be a good mother. A good mother <laughs> should be in her child's life, especially when they're young. I'm sorry. I'm saying I'd be in their life. I'm not saying I'd be in their life, but why should you can't get every other weekend? It seemed like every scenario that we came up with, Kat, you were still like, Do you, do you nah, see what I'm saying? Scenario, you see what I'm saying? Look, the only scenario I would say a kid should be full-time with their dad is if a mom is incompetent or she has mental issues. She just got to be completely terrible. Or, she just got to no, be... A, she, it can't just be... You it can't, issues. That doesn't mean you're terrible. No, I mean, I mean, basically unfit. You basically got to be unfit, right? You basically got to be unfit. You should be... Oh, okay, so that's unaware, so that's, unavailable, right? If she's sane and she's loving and she gave birth to that child and mm -hmm. she desires to be a full time mm -hmm. mom, then mm -hmm. she should not be stripped of that. If hey, you, you know, really want to be, but fun, if she can't do it, earlier, if she can't do it, really then you want to be in your kid's life, then work it out with her so both of you guys can if be in If she life. can't do it, then what? Well, that's different. If she mentally and physically cannot. No, 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 because that's what I'm saying. The situation has to be where the mother is just so deficient in being a mother for whatever reason 
that that has to be the scenario instead of one situation just being better than the other instead of the mom just not having the ability to take care of the situation because see you want to be like oh well if she can't handle it but she's a good mom then you should be able to work it out with her and help her provide and provide for her and help her along the way well guess what when she left she those benefits left with her those conveniences left with her right when i left those conveniences left with me you feel what I'm saying? So instead of sitting here with your pride and you sitting in your room thinking that you a good mom because you holding it down, you can give your child a better chance by sending him with his dad instead of you sitting up here trying to show that you're the better parent. Because it's not about um, um, him not being able to do it. It's just that you don't want to relinquish a certain amount of control. That for some I odd think, reason, our women that. feel like they are just innately entitled to like y'all feel like y'all entitled to the kids i can only speak for myself but anything that comes out of my vagina that i had to go through i am in the you know what i mean like i carry that thing i i i struggle for nine nine half of it came from my nuts half of it came from my nuts i hate this argument and that's why this argument because it's (laughs) okay that's that's perfectly fine (laughs) That's perfectly fine, but because you carried the child and birthed it doesn't give you any advantage. It realistically, it realistically doesn't. Now, how the law is set up is one thing, but that's because them laws is old. And the laws just is what it is. If you want the laws to change, fellas, y'all gonna have to go to the court. Find out who the judge is, the child support judge in your motherfucking lane, and go vote, nigga. That's why they tell you to go vote. Fuck the president. Go jo- go vote for the family court. Go vote for the uh, child support. Go vote for the um the, the the people in your area. Worry about them. But see, there is a preconceived notion that for some reason, this is a better situation. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you and you're, you're showing it in real time because it's mostly a pride thing. You already said it. No, she's a good mom. She sh- she shouldn't get that ripped out. I, said, I hey. had I birthed her. I mean, uh, I birthed the baby. All this is all this entitlement. Like all like you're not entitled to nothing. You're not. I think all you did was have a child. All you did was have a child. All you did was have a child. Women who have given birth to their child would say they are entitled to be in their child's yeah. life because they I didn't say. See what I'm child. saying? We going that's to the different. we going to the further. We I'm not saying he don't need to be in their life. Just that's hey. what you're thinking. Okay, that's what you're thinking. I'm not saying they don't need to be in their life. I'm saying if the situation is better, why do you feel the need to hold on to the child and have the child suffer with you instead of sending the child where the child can have a better situation? Because because guess what? You're not that man's child. You're not. <clears throat> You're not. And for some reason, somehow we didn't got to the point to where women think that they're supposed to get treated like children. Like we're supposed to be compensating for everything that y'all fuck up on. And that's not necessarily the case. If you fucking up in your life and I'm not married to you, I don't owe you shit. The only thing I do owe you is to be a good father. And if I'm doing that and you falling short in your life, I mean what? I can't really help you, especially if I'm quote unquote, you know. Well, I'm you pro know. against people having All kids right. with someone who's not All their right. husband anyway, so that's a whole other subject. And that, and that if you miss stand and watch the man, fuck that. That shit don't work out. Leave. Bye. Move around. Fuck that. Okay. That shit ain't gonna do anything. But one of y'all gonna die fast. Right. Fast, fast. In real life. Fuck all the internet but- bullshit. Move around. That's just that. Find a new motherfucker that's gonna make a motherfucker happy, and y'all do what y'all do. Cause all the bullshit, all the capping, all this other sh- nonsense is bullshit. Like fact. That's just fact. Cause this is bullshit. And you know I, I love love me some Miss Cat, but this is bullshit. So I can agree. Is. I can agree. <clears throat> Hi y'all. I can agree with a lot of what, what Kat was saying, except for that I don't think necessarily that the mom, the mom's always been granted the custody automatically because she's the mom. That doesn't mean she's the better parent and that she's supposed to have them. All moms don't have that motherly instinct. Just because we had them, sometimes they have a lot to do with the dude. We don't want him to see the kid. We don't want him to see him because what, you got another female and yeah, you gonna help me. 
it's a selfish kind of thing. It's not about the kid. It's about the mom. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes women get in our we get in our little feelings. Talk and at about the end it. of the day, that's a different that's a different subject. Women it's not, about it it plays, it's not get away it's from not, the man. That's but not what they're talking about. They were talking about if a girl doesn't have make but it all plays a part. We're talking about that. We're talking about exactly listen, what she's talking listen, about. That's why everybody over here, amen. Let her finish. Let her finish. Praise the Lord. But listen to what I'm trying to tell you, Kat. It plays a part. It plays a big ass part in women. I can tell you because when I divorced my husband, I didn't need him. Yes, you can see the kid, you can see the child. That's no problem. I don't care about the other female, even though the female was the reason for the divorce. I'm not going to keep my son from his father if he's able to help me in areas that I'm lacking in. Because at the end of the day, I can't make him be a man. I can only show him so many different things. And I need a good role model that's going to be able to show him those things. So women get caught up in the idea of, no, nah, fuck him. Oh, he won't be with somebody else? Oh, you ain't going to see the baby. And they hold the kid. Yep. And at the end of the day, the baby ends up being the one that's fucked up. And the mama still looking yep. stupid as fuck. All see, to pride. me, if a woman's doing that, to me, I consider that ratchet. Because a and, woman... And, 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 what, 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 what's ratchet? Because, because it like, if races. you're a good woman and you're a good mother, you should know that your kids need a father. Like, that's just... It doesn't matter. This is just, the thing, though. But see, this is what me and you going to bump heads at on this part. It's okay to disagree. When, when we say that he needs the father, you're trying to force something to be the dealt that may be more detrimental to the child later on. Okay? When you try to force something to be, that's not what that is because you think he needs to be at home. Of course he needs to be at home. He needs to be present in their life. But to say that they need to work it out, or what? Why are you going to work out something that you miserable as fuck? Because them kids going to feel it at the end of the day. Now, if the dad's the better parent or the mom's the better parent, it's a way to co-parent. You could be you can be on the same ground and not have to um, feel like y'all got to hate one another. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason for the kids to suffer because y'all can't get along. Because at the end of the day, that's what happens with child support. <laughs> y'all don't get along. Something no, I agree with that. Me. I agree with yeah. that. I think people should co-parent, but that's not what they were saying. They were saying that if you make more than a woman, the kids should she just shouldn't have to take care them. of her ass. No, nope. no. They were saying that a man should just be able to take the kid because they make more money. And I'm like, that's no, not. No, 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 no. No, it wasn't a big so hold on. I don't think why it was a That's where this whole conversation went. I was like, wait a minute. Okay. This is a guy that doesn't, money doesn't make mean sense. that a girl shouldn't be able to take care of her kid. That's not right. No, <laughs> he don't take it. One that one that wasn't one that wasn't what was said. He's not taking yes, the kid. The scenario, was, was, no, the scenario was, was the mother it, couldn't. Yes, it was. The scenario was, was the mother couldn't take care of The scenario was the mother couldn't handle it. That was the scenario. It wasn't about it was about the scenario being better than the other one. And it was happened. the mom being in a bad situation. It wasn't that just happened. necessarily because the dad makes more. Because typically, if that's what we're talking about, then Man. the dad makes more. That's why he's paying such a ridiculous mountain child support. Right. All we said was, if the situation is that bent, where she's struggling, she can't get it together, then maybe giving up, thank you, giving up custody, i.e. 50-50 custody, it's still 50-50 custody. Ain't no, never once did I say she can't be in his life. But right. she it can just switch. She it can get switched up. <clears throat> I couldn't even relate because I've never been in that situation. So well, you're no. blessed to not have been in that situation, but some of us have. And for those that have, these are the experiences that go with it and the learned lessons. This is what it is. At the end of the and day, then when I the child then when I told them, the I said, Yeah, there's women just dumping their kids off on the day, like here, you take them then because I can't do it. Now guys are complaining about that. Because women Again, nowadays, that's young, not these, young girls. They having babies and leaving them right at the dad's house. Like here, you do it. Right, because they don't have that. They don't have that motherly thing in them. Everybody doesn't have it. Just because you have a baby doesn't mean that you're motherly. No. And why the dead be mama can't get dragged? Same way the dead. If she drops she, him, she, off, if she, she dropped did. off that baby and left, why she, she can't did. get dragged? But right. she can though. That's that's what people. Right. That's saying. what I'm saying. Right. She can get dragged the same way we gonna drag these dead beat ass niggas. Down the street, all the way Nick, what you mean? Like Bruno was dragging that piano down the street, boy. I'm gonna be dragging, it. you know what I'm saying? All the way down Crenshaw Boulevard. Well, <laughs> I I do agree uh, in them in them in them working working something out where they can both be in their lives, but 
as far as you, it's like you're trying to force some stuff from like a long time ago. People used to do that. They used to make you stay with them. For what? Yeah, no. don't make I think sense. a lot of. And if, I you, and if, you, don't, if you don't need to. I think a lot of our relationships can be worked out. And I think that we give up too easy because we see all around us on TV, in society that, oh, it's okay to just upgrade or it's okay to just change and not work on the issue. You know, it is okay to change though. It, it is okay, okay to change. Upgrade. Sometimes you do change. You do change. You, you, I you feel where change. you're coming from though, Kat. I do understand. I, I understand the notion. Yeah, yeah. I, you're right. I don't want you to it's feel too like many you people don't. just break it yeah, up. Oh, yeah, yeah he here. did this and then they're done. It's like, well, why would you even, you're not even trying to have some. I mean, there's just too many hills and valleys in life and they might just be in a valley right now. You know, well, that crazy. might just be that person. The, the women, the women be quicker to walk away than the men. The men be more will, ready to work this shit out. The women, they work a lot of. Most women work more with their feelings, and they just be ready. Like fuck it, I'm. I can't. Bye. Until we done. Until we most done. look most divorces, women. Um, but have most you ever women, considered most, that most maybe women she initiate talking, the, and talking and talking and then there was no communication back and she just got frustrated because she did there was no two way talking? Or he got frustrated. But yeah. but okay, no, he okay, said the why? women walk away. So that means he was perfectly content chilling and the ladies bounced. So I'm yeah, saying that's, that's possible. The case. Yeah, or, it's possible. It could have been a. But, I keep talking to you, telling you this is wrong, yeah. this is wrong, no. fix it, fix it, and then yeah, it can no, yeah, 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 yeah. To be, to be fair can. enough, hold on. To be fair, okay. yeah, it can. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, it can. She right. But but Kat, it can also that's be bullshit. Because, bullshit. Oh, hold on, hold on, Fuck that. That is not fucking fair at all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Statistics says that women lead these niggas because either money is money. First number one rule or infidelity. I got Fucking you. I money. got you though. I got money you. Money is why they fucking made the Let me work. Let me work. I got you, bro. I got you. I got you. But I'm not finna. Di- but see, this is what I'm saying. I'm this. This my mind work. My mind. My mind work different. That's why Wall Keys talking about don't go beta. <laughs> see, I, I ain't. I ain't in the same dimension as a lot of these niggas talking about, right? Because I can understand what the women be saying. Because I know a lot of trash niggas. See, I ain't finna sit up here and walk around in the world and not act like I don't know a lot of trash niggas. Right. You want to know why most women be like, well, ain't some of your friends deadbeat dads? No, because I don't hang around deadbeat dads. Right. One of my partners ain't taking care of his kid. I don't fuck with him. Or I'm on your ass, nigga. You got to go. So what I'm saying is, I hear what you're saying, Kat. She probably was like, you know what? Fuck this nigga ain't no shit. He ain't hitting it like he used to. He slacking on the bills. He coming in. He done gained a little weight and shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. I'm out. Cool. But you also have to give that same balance to the other side because it's just it's, it's equal that's right. in reality that's and right. that's what say all the women are leaving that's i, I mean they're all, leaving at a higher clip if both. you look at statistically most no, time men don't yeah if you look statistically that's the, that's, that's the truth that's the truth because because the thing about it is is that men in this society have to be fixers so we're traditionally fixers so not only in the house, it's not only about when your car go, when your car tire go flat, or when your alternator stop working, or when the shelves falling off. We're supposed to have that same fixer mentality in the relationship too. That's why you constantly get the "Babe, what's wrong?" and y'all be like nothing, and y'all get frustrated because we didn't ask y'all what's wrong like thirty eight times in the day. Because you walk around with your face frowned up. It might not be nothing wrong. It might just be a Thursday because y'all get pissed off for it being the Thursday, right? But we don't I mean, know. We men, we want to fix it. You know what I'm saying? So that's just that's really how it is. So it's a it's a 50 50 kind of thing. Hey yellow, but hey yellow, like what you saying, how they sway per- personalities with that same personality, is that safe to be raising a child around? Because that shows you that this person gonna have some weeks they're not gonna be cool. I mean you see it. Not be, but you can't with a dude, he don't have that liberty. You know what I mean? We still gotta, hey, you still gotta maneuver how you gotta maneuver. Right. So that kind of statistically shows you that how parenting men will come out better parents in that sense of, hey, gang gang. Um, yeah. No. You have some that are good, that are good parents. 
I'm not going to, I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm like, there's guys that are good parents, but let's not go too far. They're all better than women. Hello. Hey, I've seen some that are way better than women. (laughs) I've seen some that are way better than women. And I've seen some women that, you know, do a hell of a job of mom and dad, because I did it. But I'm saying, I've seen men that can take care of a kid way better than a mom. Well, I've seen that too, but I wouldn't say that's the norm. It's not the norm. That's why it's praised because it's not the norm. But it it does happen though. We, you can't act like it doesn't happen. Like it's so far in between because it's not. There are a lot of good men out there to take care of their kids. Do you think it's the norm because men are not as good at it? Black. Do you think? No, I think, think, some, I, I think I think that black. a lot of we have a lot of male boys. Men take you care know, of their. It's, it's that, the we male do. that we do. That we do. I can't. I can't lie. I ain't shit, but a thirty-five-year-old teenager. You see the shit. <laughs> I got Batman, and I'm right. But I'm about to be like, no, we ain't. Well, I got the Ninja Turtles right here and shit, and Batman. But you know what? They can. Your kids will be able to relate to you, even when it's time for you to be serious with them. They'll be able to be comfortable enough to talk to you. That's what you want. <clears throat> And yellow, yellow. Hey, bro, don't even trip, bro. I got you, bro. Don't even trip. My bro. Is Wonder Man. Woman? Man. Is that a Wonder Woman belt? Uh uh-uh, uh, hold oh, on. Yeah. Disrespectful. Oh, disrespectful. Disrespectful. Oh. Disrespectful. Yeah, it's the Wonder Woman belt. That's oh, WWF. Man. WWE, report, originally I'm WWF. Reporting this, I'm reporting this stream. Tell me, girl. Now we report this stream. back. <laughs> Let me guess you play video games every Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. What? 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 Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What? Wow. So what? This- and mon- and what? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, what? Thursday, Friday. Oh my oh my God. God. I'm sorry. Not every day. Like, not every day, but. Cat. That's y'all's relaxation time. That's okay. Yeah. That's y'all's relaxation time. Ooh, That's all okay. Right. You need to. They need to relax. <laughs> they need uh, to relax. Just, well, don't even uh, hold us. Look, look, look. look. I'm just saying. They just want us to. They just want us to work in their karma. Look, I'm in the game. Who you ducking? Guess what? So check, check. One thing, Guess one thing. Look, I'm in the game. Yes. I don't want to knock no nobody on this panel, but I just feel like. Feel like I am the best father in the world. Do you hear me? That no, play no, 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 my wife will go out with her, with the kids. Mr. got his car. <laughs> look, look, my wife will go out with the kids, right? And she may get a couple of them. She's like, Biz, I'm dark skin now. Motherfucker don't embarrass me to be nice kid. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 check this out. But when I go, my wife go out with the kids, and she may, you know, people like, all right, kid, kid, man. Look, when I step out with my kids, me by myself with the kids, it's like a fucking parade. I love it. You get what I mean? It's like, and I think that's the, that's weird. And that's, but you know, it's honest, honestly, it's wrong. Like it should feel normal that a man is out with his kids and it's the coolest thing ever. Now it's like, it should feel normal. And fathers, I see that a lot that when fathers are out, we'll get these praise from society like, oh, you, you know, you're a good father. Oh, you have a beautiful family. Well, you got to understand. You got to you know understand, I mean? You got to understand. That's, that's the thing present. Bro. That's why it's exactly what you just said, bro. It's more fathers, bro. It's more mm-hmm. fathers outside. And it's, bro, period. How it is and how it's going to be. You feel me? Everybody going to have a problem with it because it ain't normal. So fuck it. Nigga, if we ain't going to be normal, then we ain't normal then. Nigga, fuck it. They gonna talk about us? Fuck it. Let them talk about us. Yeah. Hey man, I'm just, that's I know, real. Cause I'm, I'm with Smooth. Cause, cause I earned this shirt. Y'all talk about BDE. 
big game. Nah, that's part right there. Right this the real game. <laughs> I mean, right here. You I ain't got one of these. I ain't even trying to hear you, bro. I ain't you ain't even gonna run. That's the real big game right there. If, if, it's uh, just hilarious uh, because you don't see girls hey, like yellow, on a podcast yellow. like I got the best mom t-shirt. I'm Boy, good, you know. It's I mean, like hey, you know step the game up there. Hey, hey, my phone ain't nobody bought you a t-shirt. Step the game because you'd be rocking it proudly, right? For real. <laughs> but you know what though? It's like I like to see the men with their kids. That's beautiful. I think every yeah, woman just, likes to see men with kids. Oh, yeah. Maybe which more men would, you know. Because my father was pregnant, yeah. so I know what it looked like to be a daddy's girl. So I love to see them with their children. I love it. Keep doing it. I like to see men with their children. I don't like when men oppress women because they make more or they think that they're, you know, when they. I guess that's, that could be how you interpret it. You know what I mean? But that's it's kind of that's like, like your viability. You know what I mean? I look at that as just raw truth society, just viability. You know what you I mean? I gotta build my value. Like okay. I gotta value. I gotta build my value, right? You don't have to not necessarily build your value. You come with value. Women are born with value. I gotta build hey, mine. That's the oh, difference. Oh my, my bad, bro. You know, I don't like really getting real personal on it. This shit. But yellow got me fucked up. I like that shirt, bro. I got one of these. <laughs> I got one of these. I got my greatest, uh, greatest, greatest daddy of the year trophy. You I did. You. <laughs> Damn it. That's what I'm talking about. He nah, bust out the trophy. Yeah, yeah yellow had me fucked up. Y'all hey. gotta give me a damn shirt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, hey, that's gang though. That shit hard. He got this, bro. <laughs> hey, every it. day, <laughs> every day, Disneyland, bye, every day. <laughs> That's hard. I love it. I love well, it. Hey, but I don't, I do not reward bad behavior. I don't. Not. That. Structure. Uh, got to have structure. That's so yeah. important, man. I'm telling you, my father was present, and it makes a big difference for, for, for you that, to be in their lives. And the stuff that we was raised up on, oh yeah, not with them, not with them, nah. That's how they gonna grow up off, you know, what's real and what's not. Mm -hmm. Did you guys? Were you guys raised with your dads? Yep, I had both my parents. Nope, uh, nope, not me. I had both my parents. Oh, so. So out of the four guys, three of you guys were nose. Now one of them was. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, well, he, he came out there. for him, so it's like, eh, you know. I mean, he, he was there. What he's supposed to do? What's up, Nyla? You said, well, but see, you said raised, you said raised with him, right? So, like, well, I kind of like, think that's in the house. He wasn't really doing what he was supposed right. to do, you guys. So, I mean, that's, yeah, you know. yeah. I mean, yeah, that's true too. But when you ain't that's there, true. but this is what I'm saying. When you not there, like they was beefing. They was beefing for the most part, right? So, when you not there and they beefing. Anything can go on. So my thing is this. Yeah. As no, a we father, were just talking about that earlier. We were saying because they right. were seeing all these guys. And I said, no, I, if, if you date 10 black guys, 60% of them will tell you that their dad wasn't around or their dad wasn't right. Only about yeah. four of them will say their dad was actually in their life. And that right. is true here. So yeah. I mean, and, and and if you look at the black community, statistically it will be the same for black women. Because if they wasn't there for us, they wasn't there for y'all either. I had both my parents in my life. So that's okay, why well, we, we can my, have both of mine were there too. Yeah. But, but I, that's rare. You, know, you don't really see that, right? And most, you know, when you talk to most black people, they're going to say like their dad wasn't around or something like that. Or you know, yeah. most of the black people that I know had came from a two parent home. I mean, I, mean, I do know people that didn't. The majority that of the didn't. black people. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I know a lot that came from a single parent, but. Yeah. Still. <clears throat> the dad or somebody positive gonna be around because if it's a close knit community, a black community, somebody positive gonna be around. Yeah, most of my around. friends Oh, oh Miss Cat, I wanna answer that too. Most of my friends, their dad was around. Like most of my black friends, their dad was around. No, now, I mean their mom, home. whether their mom whether their mom home. got it. See, that's what I'm saying. Whether their mom got along with their dad or whatnot, their dad was still present. 
ask him about his black cousins now. Well, no, I'm talking about in the home. Them niggas, them niggas need to go home. Uh, it was around too much. It was around too much. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it, this is a really good, like the way we think about things, the way we make decisions are heavily weighted on how we were raised. And so this is a great example, just looking at this panel, how we think differently. We we come to conclusions differently based on how we were raised and what we saw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good conversation. Well, I, love. Love. Hi, Nyla. What's up, Hi. What's up, What's Queen? Hi. Gang, gang, Hi, gang. Hey. So I, I had my parents. But my biological dad, he was like an in and out. He was hardly there, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then my stepdad, now he's my dad. He's like my biggest supporter, the one who's always, you know, been here since I was four. So I would say I had a two-parent home. I would say that mm -hmm. both of my parents, because my stepdad is my dad, you know. So that's mm -hmm. just my yeah, Karma got something to say. Look at that. Look at that face. I mean, uh, cat. Look at cat face. Well, because I mean, when we talk Look about uh, no, I'm just saying I'm I applaud any step parent who stands up to the plate and does a role of someone else's dad. And that I talk about that all the time. Like, man, if you're with a woman who has kids, step up and be a dad because they don't need you just being a side looky loo like they need a dad obviously right but most wow. people still that's not your dad right and typically they're not gonna be loved and raised the same way so what? i don't look at that that's not true because hey, if, if he loves the wife me, if he loves the woman something. he's gonna love the kids Oh that's God! Like, that conversation on, every time we're I'm gonna come get out and take my kids to McDonald's. But I'm not taking her kids. Those aren't my kids. I mean, hell no, no, we ain't yeah. doing that. You playing yeah. some? Yeah. 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 Uh, you nah, you don't need to be in anyone's life. You shouldn't be with a man who or a person can't you can't be with a person who's not gonna be there for your kids. That's right. That's right. right. Yeah. Yeah. You, love me, you better love my kids. That's not exactly what's going on. Facts. Facts. Because, well, look, I, hey, I've been there, done that. That's fact. Like, I've been oh, there, done that. Like, come on, cat. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. yeah you can't. You can't. You can't. It seemed like yeah. you trying to. It seemed like you low key trying to find like find a bad in the situations with everything. Because you're like, not gonna find because, it. <laughs> like, like I said, like with me, I was in that situation. Matter of fact, I was just in that type of situation. You feel me? Like I was dealing with a female and shit. She had kids, you feel me? I treated them just like they was my own. You get what I'm saying? And that and that's another thing like that. Really taking just care of them? What? Are you still taking care of them? Well, no, nah, I mean we're not together. You just said you're taking care of them as your own, so that doesn't turn out. I on. said I was. <laughs> yeah, and the and the free trial was up. Saying that you wasn't. You said the free trial. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, the free trial was up. The subscription ended. The goddamn it, your card is closed. That don't, that, don't, that don't make me entitled to them forever. I mean, that's why. Nah, that's why women are cautious. That's why women are cautious of who they. That's they true have too. I can, I can respect that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say. My, I, I was gonna say because you asked if the men on here was raised with their fathers, and it seemed like we was also like part of like some stepfather situations because my sons. My son's mother had a son when I met her. Yes. I, oh, my God. Breaking news. Yeah, somebody had a child with a single mother. Lord have mercy. Jesus Christ. I did, too. He, Come on. My he did, hold on, hold on. And I didn't blow up, man. I didn't blow up. I didn't turn into goop. I didn't fucking melt. I didn't, my fingernails didn't fall off. You know what I'm saying? My eyeballs didn't come out. I'm perfectly fine. So that's why I be looking at these niggas like they crazy because they act like if you have a child with somebody who already had a child, that's going to damn you to some life of like, you know what I'm saying? Hard time or some shit. Right. But right. he was three when I met her. And man, look, he was on my hip from day one. 
Those right. are good ages because they're not like saying, you're not my daddy and all that. You can actually raise them the way you want them to be raised. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and his dad was that. His dad, his dad was around. He was sparingly around, but he was around. And I ain't even, I didn't put none of that on him. He naturally came around to all of that, like calling me dad when he wanted to and all of that. Mm -hmm. he, he naturally, I just, look, you gonna be around? I like your mama. Shit. I'm finna say it was more times I liked him more than her. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey. She be bugging out, take care, man. We gone. We, should, we finna go to the park or something. Just okay. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody in the comments asked, what could we do to help the situation? I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's what they talking about. What could we do to help? I think I think it's more about yeah, I think it was Riri that said it, but I'm thinking it's more about taking responsibility. I mean taking accountability. Like Mm -hmm. being accountable for certain shit like and as far as like the men and the women like i ain't gonna say just one side you feel me we all thank you we, Keep it it's, real. it's about us all you know taking accountability and you know like really real. stepping it up you feel me like stepping up doing what, what we supposed to do you feel me yeah yeah you know, stepping like, it up doing what you're supposed to do and stop bouncing around from relationship to relationship y'all should oh wait. there you go hey miss cat we're gonna we, we really gonna box i'm gonna jump I'm from out saying, of this like, square i'm gonna jump that. out of this square and i'm gonna jump in that square no i'm Wherever saying we're affected by that like we're look at everybody on this panel we're all affected by people it. bouncing in and out of relationships like we're okay, all that's affected. but that's why you be cautious I, when you have in front of your kids you know what I'm saying? Walt, you are such a flirt. Stop. Who? <laughs> Nobody's flirting. Who's flirting? Somebody flirting? Who? I think she's talking to Walt. Walt in the comments. Oh, man, going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, but the logo. look from the logo. Goddamn. <laughs> yeah, I just. I just felt like it's more so about taking that accountability, man. Just doing what's right because it's right and doing it right even when nobody else is looking. That's just period. Um, but I mean, a lot of, look, I'm about to go back on and say, a lot of these mothers gotta stop being so damn uptight, man. <laughs> well, love on them more and they won't be so uptight. Hey. Love on what? them. What? That what? You can, you can love the hell out of them and they still, yeah, what? Some of them, some, some women, <laughs> they, they don't deserve none of that. Some of that, that love driving some crazy. Some do not deserve that. Yeah, you give them yeah. too much love, boy. Every person deserves Yeah, don't. Like, go, no. find yeah. go find yourself. Go find yourself. You really? Oh, Every shit. person deserves love. Yeah, ain't nobody going to be running behind you, though. <laughs> That's not mm -mm. <laughs> He done put his sunglasses on and just said... Because he too cool for school, that one. Because that was the shade. I just can't, can't take the shade no more. I, you know what I, mean? I can't take it no more. It's, you know what I'm saying? I, gotta, I, gotta, I can't. I you know what's up with mine? Why you treat me so bad? <laughs> so... The reason why I'm, I'm thinking... The reason why we're going pretty extensive... Uh, did everybody get their get their thoughts out about why no. fathers are the best parents? <laughs> what? Hey, I didn't finish. I didn't finish. Pat was gonna finish. Yeah, because I ain't finished. Fathers are the best parents. I think good people are good parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But statistically proven that fathers are great parents after a child is what eight, seven or eight, because that's when the mm -hmm. child is starting to learn how to be. Y'all, y'all doing a good job. Cat <laughs> Walt said you like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, shit. <laughs> like that shit, girl. I love yeah. okay. I do for the good women on here that don't have a voice because women are good parents. No, we're not. Women, women, women are. Women are. Women are. No, what we said, what we said, uh, what I'm talking about, the better parent. We didn't say good. We said. We're just talking better. about the goat. 
the goat, the greatest. Women, the goat. Now look, now look, now look. I gotta start bragging now. Don't start taking it too far. Let me go. Hey, let me stop when she cry. We got shirts. They don't even have shirts. They don't even have shirts, bro. I'm gonna say six hat. Stick them. Hey. Yellow, hey, yellow, I hear you over there talking that shit. Bible, we have baby, mama. We have. They ain't even got shirts. We got our kids be buying us. We got. <laughs> yeah, okay. Look, even even Father's the Day, father, even even father, underrated father. underrated Father's Day, it ain't it. It's it's in June. You know what I'm saying? It's on a nice day. You know what I'm saying? Mother's Day be all rainy and shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, sad. It be on a sad, raining, emotional ass day. We right, been talking man. about May 14th is not no rainy, sad day. Man, that's, the, that's the middle of the spring. Hey, hey, what I do the know is on Mother's Day, y'all better show up and show out because y'all know what time it is. It's mm. about Mother. It's I mean, always no about the Mother. Dude. It's, right. don't get it. it's always hey, about You know what's crazy? Mother. Right. Hey, and so the mother can take care of her damn self. Hey, let me say this though, fool. Hey, how, listen. I hope how men come? don't raise don't raise their men to think like that. Don't raise hey, your listen. boys to think about they oh. shouldn't think about the mother or the wife. No, I I I, I want to be a father that raised my daughters to learn love their mom, work. respect their mom. See, you gonna ask my shit for me? No, I said learn to <laughs> work with them, learn how to deal with and work with them, man. Right, and oh. that's that's the whole thing. It's not like. Oh, you don't need me, or I don't need you, right? It's just that statistically known. It's like, babe, look, them kids gonna stress you out, so you're gonna need a man to be able to handle the other part. You know what I mean? Because you're a woman, you're gonna deal with these things emotionally because you're gonna always have these kids around. Mom, 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 mom. mom, mom. I get it. It's all you need a guy to come in and snatch them up here and there, but yeah, because you know what? We could deal with that. You know Men, we have a sense of blending that shit out. Like we, <laughs> that's true. Like that's so true. my kids would be like, my kids would be like, Dad, 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 Dad. But I'd be like, do it sometimes. Like you know what I mean? I just yeah. <laughs> if we hear something, we need. Like, most of the hey, hey, most of the time, the kid Who just bail? wants. To, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They just want something small or something that they can do for themselves. And it's like, well, oh, so shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. So, didn't get so you guys think that like kids love their dads more than they love their moms? Sure. Um, yes. Sure. I can. I was. A, I'm a daddy's girl. That, that's okay. I love my mom and dad. My daddy's brother wasn't bad. I don't love one more than the other. I, mean, I, know. I don't know. My mom was a disciplinarian. And my I'm gonna tell you why too. I'm gonna tell you why they do. It's that split. Because when it comes to love, it's <laughs> that. Uh, it's levels to this shit now, you know. Mm-hmm. It's just we the big time. dogs. That's it. All I That's hear it. is the men are trying to be Disney dads, and they think the kids love them more because they're easier on them. Yeah. No, 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 no. Hell no. <laughs> no. Yeah. You said the men are easier on, on the kids. No, it's not that they're it easier on them. It wasn't late right now. I will prove you wrong, Miss Cat. No, it no, no, no. It's the right firmness. <laughs> It's just it's it's my daddy. You know what I'm saying? Right. Dads are different. Dads are different. They don't even have to really raise their voice. They could, I, my daddy could like look at me or say just one word. I'm gonna cry because it's his presence. And it wasn't because of fear. It's because it's my daddy. You know what I'm saying? Right. If you're a daddy's girl, they bring a different type of vibe. My mom. You know, my cool. dad didn't you have to raise voice. He wasn't the one whooping us and stuff. It was he came up when he had to. So of course you're yeah. not gonna. You know, no, when he was no. like, uh oh, hold no. on. No, I was nothing like that. My mom was the one that was a disciplinarian. My dad, cool, laid back, fun, like the panel. But, but, yeah, the guy making the mom looks like the bad person. No, 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 no. It's, it's easier to talk to him. You know what? Mm, not, nah. I mean, oh, I wasn't man. a bad kid, though. I only remember getting one spanking from my dad, and that's because we didn't bring the clothes down to the laundry. And I was like shocked, like, oh my god, my dad whooped me. Okay, I tell you, I tell you, I'm gonna give you guys a real life situation. 
My, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Smooth. I'm going to give you guys a real life situation. My daughter, my oldest daughter, have been taunting my middle child, right? And we know how it is big, big sibling, little sibling type shit, right? <laughs> Truth said, there's no better parent. So, like, you, you get how it is, right? You know what I mean? Older child always pick on the little one, right? And so, my my oldest child, she's been really messing with her sister, like taunting her sister. Now, my wife have gotten on her, like, stop messing with your sister, and da 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 da, and blase blase, right? But when I get on her, the effect is different. It's not the same right. effect. It's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's totally different. She mm -hmm. instantly stopped this shit. And that's what I'm saying is like, it's 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 not to say like, we, their mom shows, tell, shows and tells them how to conduct their life as a woman, how to, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They're getting older, they're going to be growing, you know, their lady parts and all that, right? Like a man can't do that. We can't teach that, right? So mm -hmm. fathers in no way, shape or form are trying to, now we have to, they're cool, but that's not something we're trying to do, right? We leave that to the woman. But when it comes to certain things on like teaching them how to like you just can't go around thinking it's okay to taunt people. You know what I mean? I was about to say something when you said you leave it to the woman, but I was like, I'm not gonna go back there because we about to go back an hour. <laughs> no, I'm just saying I, I dare you. I dare well, you. I leave it to the woman. Why aren't you going over that stuff since you're the better parent? You go over all that stuff. <laughs> Look, you I can't. Time, look, right? you, you need to tell me I could teach my daughter about a woman's menstrual. Like, yeah, you, should, you like, couldn't you teach her. You could, you could teach her. What do we know about it? I can't. Do we I, know I, I'm, I'm gonna be on Google. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be on Google. Like, 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 Learn right. to get tampon in. You need to hey. show her to do all that. Hey, hey, you gotta ask sister, ask a sister, nigga. YouTube, no, 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 what I'm saying if is, I got to, we hitting the Google machine, goddamn it. Exactly, I mean. exactly. If I have yeah, to, we Google to for real. We dead it's on like, Google, goddamn it. You don't want to, you know what I mean? That's something you want to. If I can go get my mom, my parent, you know what I mean? No, a woman, I mean, that I trust. parenting to someone else, you do it. That ain't. But you don't get it, no, though. Really you don't get I'm not a ask. female, right? I don't have a you, vagina. Hey man, it's like, she you. pulling y'all coattails. Information. Thank you. Yo, right? it's, it's the difference between mm. teaching her how to shoot a gun, right? Then teaching her how to conduct her 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 boobs or what size bra to wear, or you know what I mean, or how to sit as a lady. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know the alphabet. alphabet. How I'm gonna know the uh, bra size? I can't even mm -hmm. stop playing. <laughs> yeah, I'm learning again. Things and aspect of being a woman that men can't teach. And I agree. You know what Agreed. I mean? Uh, or, or there's a certain love that I believe that, okay, like the slide here. There's a certain love that I believe a woman gives off that men can't give, right? Agreed. Um, which is right. right. But those things. Which is that are soft nature, love. Right? right? Those things are natural things. Those are not things that you really need to survive you in life. To go through you do battle. need touch now. You do need touch. You do need love. You do need emotion and affection. Stop it. Right. Or you have little zombie kids right. running around killing everybody like that. Daddy, 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 boy. daddy gonna give you that tough love. You though. Have a mother. That's what I'm saying. Like, okay. You gotta find that. You gotta find that balance, though. You gotta have that balance to it, though. Exactly. Yeah, Tom. You can't you be too harsh on the girl. You know what I'm saying. How you treat them is what kind of man they're gonna when run they across when they get bigger. Yep. So That's right. Be gentle That's with her. Man. So this you know slide I mean? is yeah. um, anybody anybody want to read this right here? Mothers spend more time with their children, and therefore the children form a better connection with them. A hormone called oxytocin enables the mother to bond better with the child than the father. It allows the child to feel secure as long as he she is with the mother. Also, we have another slide that's for so the mother. Hey, anytime y'all say something, blaming it on oxytocin. 
straight up. Yep. All the sex. The oxytocin, girl. Isn't no, the oxytocin talking? No, no, no. <laughs> no that's that's not like a drink. Now, what that's <laughs> telling you is like, like that's a thing that femininity thrives off oxytocin, right? Man thrives off. Um, what's the other that's word? Man, uh, no, no, no. Um, it's another one. Um, it's the brain. Everybody talks about it too. Um, getting by. No, it's I not. Like it's, <laughs> what you talking you know about? what I'm talking about? It's awesome. Femininity gives off like oxytocin. We give off uh, yeah, pheromones. Off, we, um, pheromones. The females give off the pheromones. Fuck. For me, uh, anyway, anyway. I know what he's talking about, but um, I can't recall it either. It's, it, yeah, it's a uh, damn. The, start with the, some in our brain that releases. It releases in our brain. DMT, nigga? No, it's like DMT, but yeah, it's yeah, the yeah, actual I don't to think about, damn it. The actual brain, nor a word. It gives off. Y'all need to sit down somewhere. Nah, it's like DMT. They use it in, DMT is a drug, but it's kind of, damn. Okay. But oxytocin, females give off oxytocin. Male give off. Whatever it is, I can't think off. about we like check check, 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 check. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's, it's okay. testosterone it's testosterone it's like, testosterone like, i'm not, I'm not gonna skip around this technology and try to guess it too it's no, too late to no. think i thought it was I, it's something else it's something else close to that but it's it basically all comes back to testosterone so when we work out or when we um you know when we work out or when we accomplish certain things and you know what i mean Dorphins like this, we give off dorphins, right? We give off the that's what I'm talking about, right? Endorphins, you're talking about endorphins, right? Yes. Endorphins, you're talking about endorphins. Right? Right. yeah, there you go, you got it. And that's a that's a chemical that releases our brains, which is in a chemical that releases a woman's brain is oxytocin. So, endorphins is a, 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 a is a masculine thing that you know, what I mean, and oxytocin is a feminine thing, which is like feelings and emotional and. That's what makes the that's what give you guys that jittery, you know what I mean, feeling. So a lot of times, like we may not see that and understand that, but those are the feelings that like you get. And people may think, well, oh no, I could be, I could do this, but women, I get a lot of women, like Miss Cat says, you know, we are just as good as you. But that would mean, you know, we give off oxytocin too. Then you know what I mean. <laughs> that would mean we're just as feminine as you, you know what I mean? And we're not. And yeah, we can't do that. Okay, okay. I got one for the fathers, I know, but that was for the ladies, and I want to congratulate the ladies because y'all do, right? That was for the ladies. All right. You know what I mean? I gotta give y'all that. Okay. Now this is the fellas. Tone, you wanna read that one, Tone? A study of eighteen thousand people shows that fathers experience more well being from parenthood than mothers. In terms of daily interaction, generally, both men and women were happier interacting with their children relative to other daily interactions, but men reported greater happiness from the interactions than women. October 28, 2020. Dang. I think that's true. Do I read better than I talk? Yeah, very. Fuck you. Wow. <laughs> hey, I always had to sound all proper when I was reading it. <laughs> but for real, there you go. And I think that kind of sums it up on who's the better parent. And I know I wanted to be There's no such thing as a better parent. What There's a different I'm parent. Here. We just we just wrapped that up, cat. <laughs> we just you know, I I don't think like, it's a better brand. Brand. It's I, don't a like I don't. I don't. I don't think there's a better parent, but I do. There's believe. a funny parent. Right. There is a funny parent. But I, I think it's to each to each his own. And as, you know I mean, parents, I think it's better as we build communities and learn from other parents and be able to, like, kind of build some type of camaraderie. That way we can have these discussions as parents mm -hmm. right and be able to build better communities with our kids so we know who our kid is fucking getting with right mm -hmm. not a being them comfortable making and that's what it is if the dads bring a good presence or are they comfortable you know what i'm saying dad's just like right. you know, you're comfortable right so like if i knew 
like no lie, there's certain kids that come on my house, right? And I could tell how they act if they have a good home or not. I could just automatically tell how they act. Mm -hmm. Where do you know there are a lot of young female girls that I don't trust as much as the guys, these young boys. And that's the crazy part. That's fucked up. It should be the other way around, but these I, I these young girls are wild. Because they're right. getting preyed upon earlier. That's why. Man, that's why. oh my god. And they, they become oh. hypersexual. Well, that's Man, why uh, that's, that's why. why I was saying earlier. Number one, we have to pray for our youth. Number two, we need to stay together and work together in our relationships because kids need stability. They when need safe well, environments. And the more men and women you have right. them around, that's not their parent. You're putting them in harm's way. Right, but Miss Cat, if you're not a strict mom. If you're not a strict mom nowadays, that shit ain't gonna fucking work. No, and I'm saying you like, shouldn't have to be a strict like, mom. No, 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 hear me out. There too. no, 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 hear me out, hear me out. I mean like a strict mom to where you're like, you know, you, <laughs> you, you're watching every aspect, right? There's no phones until you're like maybe 15 or 16. This kid's just seven, eight years old with a fucking cell phone, right? Mm. And his mom's okay with that shit. You know what I mean? I've seen people got into arguments. I've seen people got into heated debates. And I've seen, I mean, widely unknown, but I've seen families like literally broken up just because the cell phone have came in the child's life. And now the child has been discovered on some fucking shit and they got their whole life fucked mm -hmm. up. And some, like, it's bad. Like, you guys would be surprised of how many stories that comes out with these kids and these phones, man. And they get caught up in the hard work. Seven right? And, and when you look at statistically, like, like, don't get me wrong. My like my brother-in-law, he was okay with it. Me, I wasn't. You get what I mean? So I'm not saying all men are like, you know, he has a kid. So I'm not saying all men are like this or all parents are like this. You know what I mean? Because he was a little different than I was when it comes to the cell phone. Me, I'm different. Hell no. A lot of my homies was like, hell no. But we understand as they get older because shit happens at school and shit like that. But we're more like, hell no, because we know what it's, it's entertainment. They think it's for real. This shit is entertainment. This fucking mm -hmm. social media and shit, all this fun, like, niggas posting their lives and posting their body shots and cool, but that's entertainment. So it's hard for a child to distinguish what is real life and what is entertainment. Cause they mm -hmm. think that's it. So they, they think it's real. My daughter, I had to tell my daughter, like, babe, no, that's an actual song that came from the nineties of a band called Met Condition. I love Met you Condition. You know what I mean? Like, she thought it was an actual <laughs> song of some artist that came out. I'm like, hell no, hell no. I'm like, let, let me give you, let me let daddy correct you. Her mama didn't even know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right there, yeah, I yeah, just trying on. Her mom didn't know Met Condition. Huh? Her mom didn't know mint condition. Man, come on. You think mint can man come? See why we even have Miss Cat, really, Miss Cat. Not everybody though. <laughs> Who mint condition. All I'm saying is that's why it's so uh, important for us to be mint conditioned. Because we are Amen. kids are watching us, right? And so I get it. It's up to their kids to filter you what they watch. It's also up kids. to us if we're part of building this community. And being a village, it's up to us to talk right, live right, show them the right thing so that we raise another generation of people doing the right things. Because if they're constantly seeing people talking negatively, doing the wrong things constantly, we're a part of the problem. Miss Cat, you know what they yeah. don't, you know what these kids don't see, Miss Cat? They, they don't see their parents having these type of conversations. And then taking these conversations to their little. Hide you see, get what I mean? I, you can't hide. I, I don't even think it's that though, right? I think, and it's just me. I think we're scared to talk to our kids, man. Like, oh yeah, I, I'm, I'm not. I had to like, I had to let it be known. Like, there's, yeah, there's not, shit like, like I'm gonna tell you straight up, bro. You're right too. You right. You are absolutely right. But me, I had to watch some things. That I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. If I don't address this shit now, this right. shit gonna be a dragon when I get older. Like in about four or five years, this could be a fucking dragon. 
And it's gonna be hard to put out this fucking dragon if I don't nah, put yeah, out this yeah. bitch right now. You know what I mean? I mean I've, I've been in that situation, like you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? My uh my stepson had his cell phone, he was like, I, we we didn't really catch. He was like, he was like, like nine or ten. You know what I'm saying? Eight or nine. He was young, right? Because we don't care. He usually be on some cool shit, but he watched some suspect shit. But we also had it to where, like, we had the account set up to where the YouTube he was watching was also on my phone. And now okay. daily, daily okay. I would check his history. Exactly. Like, I know what I'm watching. So I know exactly. what he's watching. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? There was some suspect shit came up. We went and talked about it. <laughs> we right. didn't have a problem since. But exactly. see, the thing that the, the thing that like the thing that's that struck me is right the, right. the thing that struck me is though, it's like you really can't be like, and I and I, I'm not saying you're wrong, but I'm just like from a different perspective. Like it's 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 crazy to even think about the youth, but like man, you really can't do nothing. You really it's almost like you fighting an uphill battle every time because even if you get him a cell phone at 16. That's gonna be worse. They they still gonna have. That's when they gonna get access to it, and that's when it's gonna be a problem. Cause they still gonna have the trouble. Be, because yeah, check it out, hold, yeah, hold on, yeah, hold on, check it out. Because you, you got you got you got. I'm. Cause see, I'm I'm. It's it's crazy being like I'm gonna be 36 this year, right? And it's crazy looking at like the age dynamic because I'm looking at people that's like 21 and up. Basically, shit, even grown people still struggling with the idea of dealing with being on social media and how people impact you. That's why you got, like, <clears throat> that's why you got, and I ain't trying to be shitty like that, but that's why you got a lot of women at 40 going crazy, doing a self-love journey, trying to go find themselves because they seeing the shit on the internet. So it's not really the effects of the youth because it don't matter how old you are, you know what I'm saying? Did you just say self love journey? That was I've never heard it that way. Yeah, well, they yeah. always say that. Shit. <laughs> yeah, and it's, and it's crazy, me now. Look, look, and it's crazy. Look, look, yellow, you yellow, say, I'm such for me now. Right, 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 right. I'm, 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 uh, I choose me. I'm choosing myself this time. You know what I'm saying? I don't care who don't like it. I'm choosing myself. Look, they trust anything behind a hashtag, bro. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's pretty much. So it's like. They gonna get their face regardless. You just gotta, you you just gotta communicate with them. You know well, what see, I'm saying, and always let them know that the door open. Like you gotta let them know that the door is open. Right, but y'all, a kid that's 16 years old has a more of an understanding on life than an eight year old kid. Well, they should have been raised. No, 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 no. That's just a 16 year old, no, yeah, that's that's a old though. That's just, right. So. But think, think about it. you give a kid access to the world at eight and give them access to the world at 16. You get what I mean? There's a I huge mean, difference there. The kid I mean, that's eight my- so have access to the to the shit that a 16 year old has. I guarantee you by the time that eight year old gets nine years old, it's going to be like an eight-year-old is like a 20-year-old mind just because of the access level has access to it. For real. For real. I mean, I ain't saying, I'm not saying grow your kids up. Too much. I'm not saying because I believe in letting kids be kids as long as you can. But my thing is this. You also got to realize what kind of world we living in, too. You can be hard-pressed to try to avoid them from seeing anything. The trick is, is you got to communicate with them, right? So like I'm saying, my... Uh, is my my son is like five or six so he's just learning this but he's been able to work a cell phone since he was three like i started a TikTok like two years ago because i was doing my streaming thing and like i gave him the phone with the account on it and i know he didn't post it shit he didn't made little TikToks. he didn't did transitions all the little graphics he's like four years old i'm like well it's your TikTok now shit it ain't mine mm. you know what i'm saying but even with my even with my stepson, me and him had a real deep conversation because I was listening to a YouTube video and they was talking about like um Westbrook when he was wearing the dress and shit a couple years ago. And he was like, Man, I don't even know why they tripping. And I'm like, hmm, what he what do he think? Because my thing is I've always made that room for him to come talk to me. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, I was like, Well, what you think? He was like, well, first of all, clothes don't have a gender, so I don't even know why they tripping. 
And I was what? like, boy, that's the wisest shit I ever heard about the situation ever. Clothes don't have a gender. Yes, it fucking does. Clothes yeah, I'm like, my don't mouth have shit. gender. Clothes don't have okay. a gender. They clothes. What is bro. it just? Okay. It's a piece what of cloth. Dress is? What is a dress? It's a, a dress is a dress. Okay. Yeah, well, it's, a, it's a piece of okay. cloth. What gender does it say? It doesn't have it doesn't have a gender, bro. It really doesn't. Oh, bro. This is a whole other oh, kind of it really doesn't. Because hold on, hold on, hold on. My thing bro. is this. Because bro. Of, wait, hold on, 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 hold on. Let me let me give you hold on. Let me give you let me give you a reason why. Because I know where you're going. Hold on, check this out. Check this out though. In whole oh, different generations, motherfuckers was wearing dresses. Yeah, they are. And that's why it's our gotta, responsibility to teach our children morals and what's right and wrong. It, the thing about it is it's not it's not up for us. It's not up for us to decide what's right or wrong for everybody else, though. That's the problem. No, right, you're right. You're right. Right, right. right. So I that's what I'm saying. Difference. Right. So he so I know the difference this, between a rock and a pebble. You get what I mean? Right, but this is what I'm saying. Um, um a skirt over here is a kilt in a whole nother place. So you got to think about where we've been raised at. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's a lot of it got to do with calls. So when he <laughs> says calls don't have a gender, right. it makes a lot of sense. Because right. essentially right, it's a piece it. of call. It. it makes sense like, to people like, who no are trying to work on both say, sides. It makes, no it makes sense. To, say, it, hey, but see, that's what I'm saying. No one is going to say, hey, Biz, you rocking that bra strap. Why not? That's meant for guys. Why not? That's no, they gonna be like clothes don't have no gender. They gonna be like, no, he looks no, like, no, a sure. <laughs> like, no. like a female. Bro, yeah. niggas is wearing niggas is wearing leggings then. That don't and mean it's <laughs> your favorite rapper wearing leggings <laughs> right now, nigga. I'm not trying to hear it, bro. Your favorite rapper is wearing leggings right now, bro. Like, what are we talking about? Your favorite rapper is wearing see-through <laughs> leggings right now, bro. If we gonna keep the, if we gonna keep the conversation a hundred. Your favorite rapper is walking around wearing Astro Boy boots. Is we gonna keep the conversation a hundred, bro? I, I don't, no, that's, that's that's still it's not even no. Yeah, it doesn't mean right. right just because people are doing certain things like it you know what I mean. Make wrong yeah, though, and that's the that's the that's the connotation I'm, that he's trying I'm, to I'm, say. Right, that's, but we're that's saying the thing about clothes, it. That's the, thing. The, the the point is they clothes don't have, don't have a gender. That's what you're saying, and I'm like, cool, don't. I get it, and I'm with it, but you gotta understand the shit does. Like I've well, it, 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 it comes to kids also, and raising kids. If we start saying there's no I, wrong and right and everything's gray, we're going to have a the next future society well, of if a y'all don't of realize that the world kids. is gray right now. There is no black and white in this world. The, the world, world is, is gray. Up to you to show you Very much gray. What, what the black and white is. Mm-mm. Very much gray. Because right. it ain't not right. a man one of us are pure anything. Right. So we all gray. It's, it's all so great. I, 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 them leggings. They be having flowers on them shits. I see them cute. niggas. These, these <laughs> rap <laughs> niggas. Ain't that's, ain't that's, that's why I smooth over there cracking up right now because you know exactly <laughs> what the fuck I'm talking about. These niggas be wearing <laughs> fucking. You're not going to care. Nobody. This is hilarious, bro. <laughs> 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 Yellow, we're lace pants. <laughs> I'm gonna stay hey, in my plane because that ain't the, none of my and business. That's the, <laughs> and that's the thing about it. And that's the thing about it, right? <laughs> because, hold on, hold on, because, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You better tell me. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 no yellow. Oh, okay. Yellow. Yellow. Mm-hmm. yellow. Mm-hmm. yellow. Mm-hmm. 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 Tee these niggas lace up. Go ahead. Tee these lace niggas panties. up. Do do lace, lace panties have a gender? Do lace? Hell no. Lace panties don't have a gender. That's why men wear them. <sighs> what the fuck? Everybody's it's, like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. My thing is this. My thing is this. So gay men don't wear lace panties. Why are we talking about cheating? Niggas, but they not meant for them. <laughs> Who was they meant for? They ain't meant for no damn body. Because most of women ain't supposed to, to be wearing lace women. panties. Where you go women ain't supposed to be wearing sex. lace panties. Why can't women wear lace panties? Because if y'all walk around with lace panties on all day, that shit'll fuck y'all little vaginas up. Y'all better quit playing. No, y'all have little heat yeah. infections all day long. Because ain't nobody supposed I to be wearing shit. It's clothes, bro. 
Yeah, Y'all trying to bend the rules and shit. Yeah. And this, but this is what I'm saying, though. This is what I'm saying. The lace is not for you. It's for she said the lace is not for you. <laughs> the lace, okay. it ain't for me either. But well, if a man want to put, put it on, why am I? Well, who I'm gonna tell him that he's wrong because he want to put some lace on? Lady of kids. No, that's no. <laughs> that's all the new kids. Hey, hey, you see? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I'm gonna put it to you like this. And that's why, and that's why everybody's trying to struggle. And that's why, look, that's why everybody's trying to struggle to hold on to the old days. That ain't nobody had no good luck in. So why y'all keep operating you where the shit is in the old days? And that is their right, and we have to support that. That boy knows something. Hey, I did. Right. Hey, I know. Hey, I definitely do know something. I ain't tripping. I because definitely do know something. I just the thing. Something. The thing about it is, the thing, you just yeah, you because just the whole me point. Something. Yeah, because the whole point of it is, is we trying to we trying to teach motherfuckers shit that we don't even know. We got to understand <laughs> the world our kid. That's what I'm saying. We got to understand the world our kids living in. Fuck how you feel about lace panties. No, you teaching your kids some shit. I think it's bruh, the bruh, bruh. They are going to they are going to be adults in an inter. The same way, the same way we was beefing with our parents because they didn't understand the world we was living in. It's the same dynamic we gonna deal with with our kids. Y'all want to prep the kids for the world we living in, and it ain't gonna be the same because guess what? Them little people gonna outdo all of us. I think if you guys have your kids, because, your son wearing lace, because candy, they. Thinking. Y'all worried about the wrong okay. shit. Y'all worried about the wrong <laughs> shit. Because you the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, is they don't worry about that shit. Hold on. They don't worry about that shit. That's why a lot of them now are in way better positions than we ever was at their age. That's why you seeing a lot more millionaires at 18. That's why you seeing a lot more successful people at younger ages. Because they ain't worried about who they ain't, they ain't no, because they ain't worried about who they gotta work with. That's all I'm saying. Y'all worried about the lace panties. Y'all worried about the lace panties. Y'all worried about the lace panties. Hold on. That's because you associating the lace panties with success with these men. And that just can't I ain't, that ain't you just said the lace panties? See, that's the thing about it. I'm not associating. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. So you're not going to work with. Hold on. So you wouldn't work with a man because he wear lace panties? You would pass, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You would pass. See, and this is this is why this is why I swear to God we struggle so fucking much because we try to hold on to values that have been holding us back for years. So you mean to tell me that you would pass up on a successful business opportunity with somebody because he's a man and he wear lace panties? No, and you wonder why we've been. And you, you wonder why we've been struggling. We're talking about children and teaching children stuff, not who. Right, right but that's my, but that's my yeah. point. That is the point that I've been making. Oh, Y'all got yeah. caught up on the fact that I said lace panties, and the point behind yeah. it is, is that that <laughs> generation of people, clothes have no gender. They don't because right. they really don't because they really don't. At this point, they don't. But this point, they don't. If your child's science teacher. You didn't know, but he was a man. He was wearing lace fronts, but you didn't. Will it matter? But you didn't know. Do the nigga know how to teach science? Do the nigga know how to teach science? What science? Do he know how to teach science? It don't fucking matter. Do he know how to teach science? Does he teach the I wouldn't know. Does he teach? I wouldn't even know. Does he teach? Does he teach the curriculum? Does he teach the curriculum required by the school that I signed my student up to? Yes. So I okay, then, then what is the fucking problem? Because I didn't, hold on, hold on, because we didn't have straight yellow, teachers teach yellow. us bullshit. We didn't have right, teachers who fit the gym teach us bullshit. So what I'm going to choose, hold on, so what am I going to be biased against the motherfucker because they decide to wear a certain type of clothes? No, and they can I teach my child, know. hold on, they can teach my child better than somebody who doesn't. But they can also teach your job that it's okay for them to be doing that. Then guess what? That's your job to stop it. That's your job to stop it. That's your job to stop it. Then that's, right. And that's why I draw the line right. at Because if you ain't holding it down at home to where you don't want that to happen, then you let it happen. It ain't on that person. That's the yeah, thing that blows me about the whole fucking that. thing. Because y'all want to be like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because y'all want to be like, oh my God, if they see gay people, if they see trans people, they going to end up being trans. That's why everybody no, in the no, comments. Hell no. Nah. Then Wait what are we talking about then? Okay, then so let me about? answer you. Let me, let me answer you. Because you need talk over. This, this is the thing. First of all, with the lace panties, what I'm saying is, no, I don't give a shit about him wearing lace panties if that's his private thing. 
I'm saying the lace panties don't have shit to do with his success. If he's getting the success, I ain't gonna see his lace panties anyway. I don't give a shit. But they're not they're not for him, really. They're technically made for women because we're tender and sleep with us. But if he wanna wear them, so be it. It don't have nothing to do with his success. It does matter whether or not somebody has a lace front on because kids need to be able to distinguish male from female. I don't give a shit about the gray area. I don't care about right the wrong. to know how to cook. Right. They have to know how to, this is a man, this is what a man looks like. This is a woman, this is what a woman looks like. Now, if he right. chooses to wear a lace front and teach good ass science and be the best damn science teacher, so be it. But you have to know that they need to know the difference. Ain't no gray. And they do start at the house. Cat, am I right or not? I agree. I'm like, I can't. Hey, I can't. Me about that I can't even support that's cool. that kind of mindset. Well, my thing is, it's so like just because so we're seeing stuff around us doesn't mean we're supposed to support what's around us. Like that's it's just not the right mindset or behavior that we should be teaching our children, even if they're in and not of in and not of in the world, but not of not of the world. That's right, and that's not cool. I don't care if Where a rapper comes from? on with a ballerina dress on at the next Super Bowl. I'm going to tell my kid that that's not how God wants us to live and be. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, cool. I was hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. Then, so. It's really a woman. They're going to be like, who's okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. And see, this, is what, this is why I'll say this. Because if we're going from that angle, I'll respectfully bow out. Because I'm not finna, I'm not going to argue the world against religion. Because now we're having two different conversations. So if right. that's your stance, I'm going to respect that. But I'm going to say this. I understand the world that my child is going to be living in. Regardless of their religion, they're still going to have to operate in society. Yeah. You can't discount that. So <laughs> instead of assuming, instead of trying to discount the person who's teaching your child, try teaching your child that that person has the right to be whatever they want to be. Oh, that's a given. Yeah, that's okay, a good then. Thing. That's, okay, that's then. A good okay, thing. then. Okay, then. So to tell me about right or wrong would infer that that person standing in front of the classroom is doing something wrong in their life. That's what it's inferring. No, not really. I don't care what he's doing in his personal life. Yeah. I don't care what he looks like. If he's a good teacher, he's a good teacher. All I'm saying is your kids have to know what's what. They yep. have to know right. this is what a man really looks like. I don't give a shit about nothing else. Right. Right. And that's, we got to teach, we got to show and teach them the attributes of who they are to be, you know, like who right. they even you know, if it turns into are to be. Else. And what right. clothes are appropriate, what clothes are not. Right. Of course, they're going to have their own attributes and qualities about themselves that they're going to, you know, gain or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's our, you know, when we, it's right to let them know like certain shit you ain't supposed to be doing. No, it ain't okay for you to be. Who uh be whoever you want to be like it's certain shit that's all uh, that you don't do and it's certain shit that you do it's structured to this shit period like what that's happened? that's that hey that's just me what? man why not why ain't not you allowed to, ain't you allowed to be whatever you want to be who yeah. me I ain't yeah. allowed to be I'm not allowed to be uh and I, like I said I have nothing to, I have nothing you to can be with I'm not allowed to be gay is I'm not allowed not? to be stupid why not. <laughs> I'm not allowed to be poor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because see, this is, this is this is why I'm understanding. Like I, 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 and like I said, hey, I ain't got shit against it, bro. Like, I, I, believe me, bro. I don't. You know, we're, I not, just, we're not having a conversation from the same type of angle. We're having it from a religious thing, and we're having it from a moral thing. But I want y'all to be observant of the world that y'all live in. Because if you think that you can yeah, send your kid, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because if you think it's okay to send your kids out into a world where you're telling them that it's a certain way to do shit and they're going out into the world and seeing examples of that not happening, because regardless of you saying how it should be happening, you still got that teacher standing up there with a lace front in their face every day. So what but then? I don't know what a man look like. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because this is why we send our kids out into the world because you want to teach them the contradictions of the world. Now he conflicted because he's sitting at home getting a lesson of this ain't how it is. That's not how it's supposed to go. But guess what? This is the world that he's living in. 
No, when nice. He go to the motherfucker. Because now he got older, he figured out he really didn't like dressing as a female. Now he got to do this shit for the rest of his we life. We not talking about that. Yeah, we just talking about a regular. So we just talking about a regular kid. Right? I'm on some bisexual. <laughs> See, hold on. See, hold on. Because this is why I'm gonna call out the shit. Walk. You ain't got a bro. Because you insecure with your motherfucking self. Oh. You you always got a problem, bro. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, because that's the, that's the type of shit I'm talking about. Walt is the example of the type of person that is deterrent to whatever type of progression that anybody wants to make. We can't sit here and ask for equality and then tell this other group of people that what they're doing is wrong, because it's a whole entire group of people that tell us our skin color is wrong for simply being born like that. So let's stop playing the motherfucking dice game on who we want to judge and where we want to be able to judge. Because guess what? When the hammer fall down on you, you need to understand that it's going to fall just as hard. So why are you saying what ain't right and what shouldn't be and how it's supposed to be? Well, guess what? We were supposed to be free before the 400 years that we was had to deal with. But guess what? We had to deal with that shit, too. We supposed to be not getting killed by the police, but guess what? That shit's still happening too. We supposed to not be motherfucking getting put out on the street because motherfuckers can't pay their rent, but guess what? That's happening too. So when it's a motherfucker standing up in your child's classroom with a fucking lace front on, you need to be able to inform them that that is happening too. And also, that it ain't right. It's not normal. That shit ain't. It's not what it man. I don't know. That's why you got. I mean, I understand, got, but I, but I, you got a lot of mass. I mean, with feminine men and a lot of masculine women. That's true. Mm -hmm. Period. That's yeah, that's the prime example. Why? Yeah. Because yeah. motherfuckers being okay with certain shit when it's not okay. It's not certain why shit is, is just not, not okay? okay, bro. And I'ma stand on that. Period. Like. Why is it, it not okay? It is. Our roles are getting all jacked up because yeah, they reversing the roles and shit. Y'all, yeah. Freaky Friday. No, nah, we ain't doing no Freaky Friday. <laughs> reversing roles like what? So because oh, a motherfucker wear lace front panties, you can't control what go on in your house? Hell, come on. Of course you can. Of course you can. Where's Jay Ben? You ain't said of nothing. Of course you can, but, but we talking about motherfuckers agreeing, uh, like basically being okay with oh. the way hey, like listen. They, I don't know. Bro, bro if you sit down, if you sit down and you piss it, if you sit down and you piss it, oh yeah, you're going to wear some panties. If you standing up and putting your little weave in the thing, you finna wear some drawers and you know some braids and shit like that, and it's gonna stay like that under my house. And under, matter of fact, as long as your last name is Jackson, it's gonna stay like that. Dead homeless. Period. Sorry, Facts. Jackson. Facts. Facts. Are you Sorry, free to teach it. your children that? Man, I'm free to teach the world is that. Okay? I'm gonna teach the world that shit. Jay Smooth said, "I'm gonna teach." That's, the world that's gonna be the that uphill shit. climb. That's, that's going to be the uphill climb. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. I'm not knocking it. Listen, in real life, I'm not knocking I'm not it because what? I'm I, got, not I got, listen, 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 listen. I'm not. I'm not knocking the gay people because, nigga, they in my family. Nigga, nigga, grew up with them, all that They're and all that. They, what they do. So I'm not knocking what they do. The kids that's growing up, Oh, if, as long as I'm breathing and I got something to say about it, it ain't boo. It ain't going to never be boo. And it's going to be like that. Period. Right. It's that. Now, whatever niggas happen to do outside of my motherfucking house, then now I'm not going to turn my back on my babies, period. But I'm going to always have something against that. Right. But as long as you living under my roof and you got a Jackson at your... <laughs> It's not bragging, none. Yeah, we gotta we gotta nip that's it in the bud. That's just what it is. That's just like me. That's, I, that, my, that's my, it. Is I, not, that shit is not cool. Which whatsoever, right. nigga. That's not ain't it ain't. I'm not knocking them on what they do, but mine's and the ones that's coming up around that age bracket. It's not boo. That's just that. Like whatever niggas do is what they do. I'm just saying. I'm gonna speak for the men. That's 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 standing on that. That that you feel me that you know, right. I'm not. They get where I'm coming from. I'm not knocking them. It's just not finna happen as long as you got my last name. And it just ain't right. It's just what it is. I mean, that's I, I got more. Right. I got more than up most respect and love uh, for the elemental uh, uh, elemental P uh, community. Right. I got love for them, like, <laughs> like, right. but mine is right. not. Like, I'm. It's a, it's a different lane over here. Like it's a different lane over here. And I'm and I'm and I'm standing that's for the people that's looking up to me. I'm standing right. on that. Right. 
Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, like I was going to say, man, like it goes, it goes, ties into like what Jay Smooth, you know, saying like, you feel me? Because I got kids of my own, you feel me? And like I got family members, same way. Little brother, uh, just a host of other family members, cousins and all kind of shit, aunties, like, you know what I'm saying? But it's certain shit that I don't allow around my children, period. I'm going to always nip it in the butt and I'm going to always let them know this is what it is. This is what it ain't, period. Like certain shit, you, I'm cool. I love you. This is what I tell my fam. I love you, and I, I'm happy for you. I want, I want you to, you feel me? Be happy, period, by all means. But certain shit, you just gonna have to check that shit in front of my kids. And when you're around my kids, when my kids is around, you can't do that. You so what? Okay, okay. So, okay. so this is why I'm confused. Okay. This is why I'm confused. This is this is why I'm confused though. This is why I'm confused, right? What are we talking about? They doing in front of your kids. What are trans, what are what are gay? What are trans people? What are the LGBT people doing in front of your kids right now? If some if you if you like like in the scenario you saying you tell oh, me you, 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 you can be around. Hold on, hold on, I'll give you a scenario. Hold on. hold on, you ask for a scenario. I'm gonna give you a perfect mm -hmm. scenario. Okay, uh, a male. It's a male family member that came to stay at my house. I'm not gonna pinpoint the person, but it was a male family member that came to stay at my house, and he's gay. And he had his boy boyfriend come over with him, and he was sitting on my couch, hugged up and arm around him, and all that shit. And I just said, "Hey, I just can't have that around my kid." Period. I agree. I I love you. I want you to be happy, but certain shit I just can't allow. Y'all can't just be sitting up, hugged up, and I don't want my child to come to me. Well, my uncle or my my cousin or my so and so did this, so it should be okay if I do. No. And, that's where, look, that's where and, and confusion I'm, falls and, in, brother. Do you do real, you sit do you sit up do you sit up with do you sit up with women in front of your kids? You said what? Do you sit up with women in front of your kids? Do you sit up hugged up with women in front of your hell kids? No, bro. Hell no, bro. Hell no. Nah, I mean, I've that's done right. it with my 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 my, do, my kids' mother. Yeah. Sure. Oh my, my. But other women, other niggas, bro, that's no, not. No, hell no, I'm going to their crib or something. I don't even do that around my kids. Like, you feel me? Yeah, bro. It's, they should even have niggas. to see that because you that's where that's where that's where the shit come, falls in, where the kids start envying they one parent be oh well, you're not with my parents, so Period. I mean you're not with it's my yeah, you're not with my Period. parents, so Period. I feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Like certain shit, certain shit. You feel me? Like so I don't know. I just I just move a little different, big dog. Yeah, like, I, I, I ain't even, I ain't, I ain't trying to be like that. I just think, man, like with the kids we dealing with, man, in the world we dealing with today, we we projecting a lot of our shit on our kids. Thinking like that. I feel like we got to show to them more and show them even more with the world we living in now. And like we gotta do. We gotta instill that shit. Even you gonna even show, even you gonna world. shelter them to not, the world. Not, not Wait, step back. You gonna shelter them to the world and then what? Bro, tell them about this bullshit that's going Tommy, on. They gonna bro. have to go out here, bro. We not bro. raising kids to just bro. kids forever. We raising bro. adults, bro. This ain't how we was back then, bro. All right. In the house when the street lights come on, yellow. They going outside when the street lights come on, bro. Oh God, they just get started. Listen, listen, bro, listen to me, my nigga. Right now, bro, it's different. Outside is different. Mine's not finna be outside looking goofy over the next nigga kid that's acting goofy. Bro, I'm not finna do that because you know what that's going You know what that's going to end up? A great, great man going to end up in jail or in the grave, bro, because I'm going to be the next mm -hmm. Jason Voorhees around you. <laughs> Facts. Facts. But I, I, I get, bro, I get all of this. Right, like, I, I get, I get well, all I'm of this. Right, on, I'm going like, to stand like, on what Tom say, bro, because I'm not finna allow, bro, in real life, because look, since we feel turn out bullshit, and y'all know Jay Smooth going to speak the real, and my cousin wouldn't motherfucking mind any motherfucking way on top of that. Right. Nigga, I got a right. gay cousin, nigga, named Josh, nigga. In real life, bro transforms, my nigga. On, he, can't do that shit. he can't do that shit. You said, yeah, my cousin Josh, that nigga then, what? That's my dog on my mama. Anywho, but this nigga transforms, bro. Like in real life, and guess what? You're not bringing that around minds, my nigga. I love you to death, bro. But you not, and guess what? 
he he already know and respect that. Like, bro, don't when you doing your little, you know, your goofies, bro. Don't bring that over here. They already know that you kind of you don't like girls. They already aware of that. But when you get to transform, you don't bring that over here with the extras, bro. So I gotta stand on what Tone's saying, like, bro. Then I'm not. Conversation got me heated. Yeah, and, and, and I'm not. He got you, he got y'all so, my thing is this: I understand, I understand your house, I understand your household. Like he said, "Yellow man at the top." This is this what this what I'm saying. I, under, I understand your household. You said what? That's the responsibility. The parent is to like make the rules for their kids. Wait, and wait, their wait. Can I ask a question, bro? Yeah, I don't even know your name. I met you before. You cool. I like you, but I don't like you today. Um, <laughs> let me ask you a question. If you out in public with your child and two people are having sex on a park bench and you walk past them, are you going to say, you can't do that in front of my kid? Or are you going to let your kid watch them have sex? Or are you going to have a problem with that? No, you know what I'm going to do? Are since you, you asked that question. People? Since you asked that, since you asked yeah, that question. Asking. No, let me answer. Let me answer. Let me answer. Since you asked that specific question. So I stay in Chicago. I'm walking down Lakeshore Drive, and I see two people having sex on the beach or on the bench. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stand right there. I'm gonna hold my child hand, and I'm gonna make them watch. Oh, that's the on. answer you want? That's crazy. That's the, no, 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 it's the fact that you asked me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's the fact that hold on, hold on, hold on. It's the fact that you decided that the question that hold on, hold on. It's the fact that you decided that the fact of you was gonna come shut down my whole argument was portraying people having sex on the park bench. Some shit that's illegal. Some shit that anybody in a right now would probably say something to. Because no, 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 no. Because that's the fucking reality that I'm talking about. You want me to give you another question outside of sex? You yeah, can give me a better question, question than that. Can I, can I get a realistic situation? Okay, fuck sex. Can I get a realistic situation? Fuck sex. Fuck sex. Fuck sex. Are you comfortable? Are you comfortable? Damn. Y'all act like gay people just be. Y'all act like gay people just have each other bent over the water. Y'all act like random gay people just have each other bent over the water, clapping cheeks all day. Let me ask you a question. 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 And it's not illegal to wear see-through outfits. It's not illegal to wear a see-through shirt with your titties hanging straight out. It's not yep. illegal to wear a see-through outfit and your coochie showing through it. You not see anymore. that all on regular TV and everywhere, right? So if you got your young child with you and it's somebody dressed in that manner where you can see through all their clothes and all you see is ass and titties, you in the grocery store and the chick bends over, coochie, booty, everything out. Are you letting your child sit there and watch that and see that, or are you yeah, turning your child away? Let him watch. Yep, because that's yep, yep, yep. That's exactly what I do. Yep. Okay, well then I'm gonna stand there, hold, I'm gonna stand there and hold a hand, and I'm gonna diagram exactly what's going okay, on. Okay, then because that's how absent minded you think that. Hold on, that's how absent minded you think my argument is. Between judging right, somebody, and that's and let me let me, let me let me can I point out between judging somebody and not changing your morals? Can I point out because the world ain't got that? Did you see the extreme? We gotta go to the gotta prove a point. Uh, but it's extreme out here with homosexuality. It's extreme. Now I don't got nothing against it, but it's extreme. It's so extreme. Hey, notice how everybody don't have person, nothing against it, but y'all got a lot. If I'm a straight it. person, I got a lot against it. Why don't you just say you got a lot against it? Bad about like something's wrong with me. Why don't you just say you got a lot against it? How is everybody's argument that I don't have a lot of I don't have nothing against it, but well, no, 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 I'm trying to point out the fact that we've had we've had conversations, so like I ain't trying to come at you like that, but I want you to understand really where I'm coming from, right? I'm I I I do this, right? I do this. I I ain't trying to say that, but I do this. This ain't my first rodeo, right? So my thing is this: me knowing your initial approach to me, 
was as far left as you can try to make it was to prove a point, you still haven't given me a realistic situation. So I told what? You it's, very so clearly. what? Hold on. My thing is this. There's it's people who... It's, hold on, it's hold on. people... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, because your example of being in Walmart and then bend over, over the, them bending over with some see-through clothes on is no different than my child walking in the bathroom and seeing the plumber with his pants down a little bit. And I got a problem they with both that. Bent over, they both bent over, living their own life, but guess what? Part of their ass is showing. You got to pick a decision. Are you going to let this crumble your whole faculties about how the world works, or are you just going to teach your child that, hey, look, you can't judge people. Because the last thing you're going to want is your child to judge you. Now, if you're talking about having sex and That's people, it was, the, it was the most extreme example of anything you could have brought up. Let me give you better examples that I probably could have probably argued with. If somebody was wearing, you just if, did. If, if, if a man, if, a, if, a man, if somebody with a beard was wearing a dress. Okay, that's I'm more, a, of, a, that's more of a realistic, more fucking realistic situation you can ever fucking run into than seeing somebody having sex on the odds. I ain't talking about no get over shit. that? You I'm just gave no a bunch like of real man. situations. Oh, that that was your initial approach to it. And that is the example of the extremities that people think that they have when they think that these people just exist. You, I, this is the craziest part. You associate that with just simply being, and that's my point about it. If anybody, man, woman, man, man, if it's two dogs humping on each other, I'm going to probably kick the damn dogs. What the fuck? I think we, I think we can all agree mm -hmm. that everybody, right, has the right to do, wear, be whatever they want to be, and everybody has a right to disagree with how other people live their life. And as parents, we have to choose and know what's right and wrong for our families and raise them in the way that we believe they should go. And there's and no- And that is not judging someone else yes, because that's you not choose judgment. to do that. And that's the point I'm trying to make. It's yeah. not about judgment. It's about you choosing your path for you and your children and right. your household and you sticking with it. Just because the plumber's butt is out in my house, I'm gonna have a conversation with the plumber and I'm gonna stop my child from that and I'm gonna let my child know, I don't wanna see your ass hanging out like that. That's okay, right. so that's a more realistic situation. But the point is, did I judge the plumber? No, I didn't judge the plumber. I told the plumber that's uncomfortable for me and I don't want it around my child. That's not me judging the plumber. And that's the only point I'm trying to make. Just because you don't agree with something and you don't want it around your kids and you don't want it in your life doesn't mean that you're judging. It means it's but not you're your comfortability. It's Walmart, not what though. you want. You're, you're judging the person at Walmart, though. No, she said she didn't like it and she didn't want her kids seeing it. But you're judging them because you're telling them that's, that's not judgment. Wrong. That's when not I judgment. Up the plumber, no, I didn't I say up the plumber, it was wrong. Right? I said here's I don't reason, like it. And reason, I asked you, the would the you let your child watch plumber. it? I didn't ask you, did why you think it was I? wrong? Why would I? Why would I? Why would I? Why would I didn't, but that's the point I was trying to make. I used the far fetched point, not for you to see anything other but me saying it's not a judgment. It's a choice. It's a call for what's comfortable for you. Not a choice. And, and the world you, has a you the compare world people has a way existing that people have sex on the fuck beach. Fuck what's comfortable for everybody around me. I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want. Whether this person's comfortable or that person's comfortable or that person isn't. It's my life. I'm gonna do what I want. Well, if the world can do that, then I can say this is my child, my life, and I don't want it around my child. And that's not me judging anyone. That's me making a choice and standing on my choice. And that's the only point I was trying to point out to you. No one on this panel is judging. They're literally taking a stand for what's comfortable and what they like and what they believe to be right. I can believe that white is white and you could believe that white is black. Am I judging you? No. Are you judging me? No. We just got total different beliefs and we may not agree, but it's two different things. And, and, and they both is cool. So, no, I don't have a problem with people who are homosexuals. However, I don't agree with that lifestyle. That's not yeah. judging it. So That's saying I don't want no parts of it. I don't want to do Dang. it. So you have a problem with it? Well, everybody no, on here. I, I, no, you, don't, no, want, no, I because don't want to live like that. With their I don't have a learn. problem with it because if I had a problem with it, I'd be out gay bashing. 
I'd be I, out trying to unlive homosexualities. If I had a problem with it, I'd be running up in their face every time I seen them. Uh, you not nasty. necessarily. It could be I as think, simple. I think it could be everybody. as simple as saying that it's right or wrong. Basically, Dilla, there's I, nothing wrong right with her having an opinion of what's right or wrong. Lifestyle. There's and nothing so wrong with everybody on here having an opinion of what's right or wrong. That's our right. That's our right to say, yeah, that's right or wrong to us. I'm not, right. I'm not saying it's not. Yeah. But I'm hearing. Okay. I'm not saying it's not for y'all. Right. Because I'm saying, yeah. like, raise your people how you want to. But for you to say that, and I'm specifically hearing y'all saying that their lifestyle is wrong. To us, it is. Oh, I never said that. I said I don't agree with it. I never so said it was wrong. I, I said I don't agree with so it. So what are we talking You got to watch the words that come out of Trisha's mouth, not the whole panels. Well, Trish, you just got up here like 30, like 20 minutes ago. I I've been having a conversation with, with everybody else. Okay. No, can, I know, can, but can, I'm just saying, but then I, I addressed you directly. And when you addressing me back, you're saying that I'm saying something is wrong. And I have yet to say that. I said, I don't agree with it. I came up here to point out one little thing that just because you don't agree with something, because it's not right for your lifestyle, doesn't mean you're judging someone else. It means it's not good for you and it's not right for you. And you have that right to say that. I don't Without sex. someone I saying you're judging everyone. Trisha, Trisha, Trish, 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 Miss Trish. I love Trisha. Yella. I love Trisha. I, gotta... I love you guys. Kumbaya, my lord. Cat, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't nobody like that person. Don't nobody like that person. Don't nobody like that person. Because like it's cool, though. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, because it's it's cool because it's it's not like that's what I'm saying. Don't like don't misconstrue like me talking about it because I fucks with y'all. That's why I'm even having this conversation with y'all. You know what I'm saying? But this is this is ultimately what I'm saying. There are people saying that it's wrong, and that's the problem. Because the that's not a problem. Thing, Everybody has a right to say let me, what's let me, right. Let me rock. Let me, let me, no, let me rock. Can, can, let me rock. Let me rock. Okay, that's one problem. It's two problems. I, I'm pretty. It's people who say it's a problem. It's people who say it's a problem. I'm not just saying it. I've been. I'm having. No, but you're making it so, like you're making it like if someone says, "Oh, it's wrong to marry two men; they're bad." But if someone says it's it's right to marry a woman and a man, oh, you you can't say that's right. Everybody has a right to feel like this is right or wrong to them. But the I thing just, about it is the thing. The part too passionate is, about this shit. The point huh? I'm trying to make is this. The point I'm trying bro, to make is this. Passionate about this shit, bro. Going in on this. What you mean I'm going in? I mean, look, bro. I'm just looking at it like this, man. I'm the type of person that I'm the type of person that I Why sit can't back I see and nobody's I faces. I'm the oh, type of person that talking. It's big I'm tone. The, uh, I'm the type of person like this. Big. I don't. I don't see the world. It is a like TV that. podcast. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, we can't see nobody. I can't see uh, nobody. It is a TV yeah. podcast, you know what I mean? But, yeah. Everybody just like, I'm about to if I went to black screen, you guys would be so Because I sure been getting, getting dragged behind the avatars for like the last hey, hour. Can y'all see my black Look, can y'all see me? Camera on. There we this go. would make you guys so upset if I was like this every time, huh? No. I would be. I would be. Who said no? Get out of You'd rather see a picture than me? I'd rather see your picture. You are Damn. mean. <laughs> Damn. I'm just playing. <laughs> Damn. Oh man, but look, I look, I look at it like this, bro. Because, like I said, I'm 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 raised I'm, just I'm raising a six year old. You know what I'm saying? I raised a fucking thirteen year old. You know what I'm saying? I understand the word that I mean. Like I said, bro, I I reach out to people, bro. Like I talk to people. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about it is this. I think it gets to a point to where we want this type of expansion for black people, but we be super closed off to everybody else, bro. We I think being nobody... closed off to certain things is good because it keeps our communities as pure as possible. I don't think we should be open. That to ain't everything. the case no more. I'm, I look, I hate to be like this. Whatever community we think is left is whatever's in our fucking accountability radius. Let me tell you what the accountability radius is. It's the distance that where you could do some shit. The distance of where you're effective is about all you can affect. You can't go outside of your account. You can't hold nothing accountable outside of where you can work. Whether that's a mile from your home, whether that's 10 miles, whether that's a couple states, whether that's the whole damn world. Your accountability radius is only what you're accountable for. 
but to but to send but to send the type of message that and this is what I was trying to tell Trish, this is what I'm trying to get to, Trish. You can't equate having sex on the this is the only reason I keep saying it, and I'm trying to like make it for real. You can't equate that to people existing because that is the type of shit that we had to deal with. You made that point to me, and I, I got it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because they use the okay, right, right. So this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. That's the idea of the collective we're talking to. Because I think that's the type of mindset that if, oh, man, if they go out and see this, they're going to be affected and they ain't going to know what to think. Then all you got to do is convey whatever message you want to convey to your child. The only thing I'm saying is this. I don't think the message should be that it's wrong because it's not. At the end and of the day. I disagree. I think that we should day, stand for what's right and wrong as parents. I pray that everybody makes a stand for what's right and wrong in your house. And that's what we all think. Like so it's stealing wrong. Hmm? That, it's stealing wrong. Oh. It's stealing wrong. Sure. But if you're hungry, don't you hungry, down Okay, wait a minute. But you. what if you started? You know, you haven't had no food. You tried every other way to get that food. And the only way you're gonna get it is to steal it, to eat it. Now is it still wrong? Yes. Yeah, because it's, it's a matter of survival now. I mean it's still wrong, but shit, I can't hear him because what he I don't know do. what's going shit. on with his mic. No, that's muted. That's I was my bad. I was muted. He's, this is this is why I'm struggling to have the conversation because the equivalencies don't work, right? Here's why it don't work. You're saying it's stealing wrong. Well, yeah, guess what? In most of the 50 states, theft is illegal. So, yeah, if you steal some shit, regardless of your, if you have a million dollars in your bank account or if you flat broke and you ain't ate in three days, your ass going to jail. Here's the thing. <laughs> Being LGBT is not illegal. It used to be illegal to be black. It also used to be illegal to be black, too. It also used to be illegal to be black. And you see how far that set us back, right? You see how far that set us back, right? Because we here on YouTube now trying to to rebuild the community. Okay, but what I'm saying is, is so if stealing is still illegal, then maybe we should go back and say, well, if you need it and you got to do it because that's how you're going to live or eat or survive, then maybe we should change all the rules and can't nothing be wrong and can't nothing be right. And that's the point I'm trying to make to you. When do you set a stand and say, hey, we have to set a standard yes. of something and stand for that. And that's yes. what I stand for. Amen. That's the only yeah, point I'm trying to make. And that's up church. to the individual Amen. person. So if I say that homosexuality is wrong, I may not be speaking for you, but I'm speaking for me. And Amen. I have that right to. And that's, that's the right. only thing I'm trying to point out to you. That's so right. You have to set the standards of your if, life. If you can right. say, if okay, so everybody sitting here nodding that homosexuality is wrong. No, if we're I, just we're nodding, saying we're agreeing oh, with what she's saying about we're everybody not has saying, a choice. I'm not to even say saying homosexuality is wrong, is wrong or right. Saying, I'm saying it's not right for me. And that's perfectly yeah. fine. It's not the way it's supposed to be, period. That's what that's probably the I'm gonna be like this. Tone is probably more accurately saying how y'all really feel because y'all just don't want to say it. Let's keep it a hundred. This, this, hold on, hold on. This gas mask tribe TV, we filter out the bull, right? Let's filter out the bull there. Um, In reality, more. Well, we're not no, that's what I'm saying. No, no, that's what I'm saying. No, that's what I'm saying, Tone. And I get it. And I like, I get what you're saying. Like, you feel it's wrong. The only problem with that is a lot of the caveats before y'all go into why it's wrong. Is that y'all don't have no problem with it. This is where you're confused. This is where you're contradicting the argument. You cannot say you don't have a problem with something. Thus, follow it with everything that you have a problem with. You How does that work? Buy it. You can buy it. Because if, if you don't condone it, then that's another thing. Like, thinking that it's not okay, yeah. And not condoning it, that, yeah. If you think it's not okay, then you should have condoned it. But to be, to, to, to say that, oh, uh, if, if my if the people that I'm around, a friend or a sibling or you feel me, a family member or whatever the case may be, if that's what they do, them. then I'm a I'm a, I want them to be happy or whatever. But I'm not, that don't mean I'm condoning in it. That's or right. that I think well, it's okay. And that's the point I made earlier when I texted in. My daughter dates a female. 
I know the female. I'm cool with the female. My daughter doesn't feel like her mother is judging her or, or is like, but she knows that I don't, I don't condone that. I don't, that's not right. Where I come from, my mindset, what I taught her, I, I, I didn't teach her that. But do I have a problem? A problem means that you are, con like when you have a problem with something, you don't allow it around you. You don't deal with it at all, period. You just don't fuck with it. If I got a problem with, with, with the color red, you're never going to see red. Nowhere near me. And if somebody got red on, I'm probably going to get upset about it. But I don't have a problem with homosexuality or a person that is living that lifestyle. But just because I don't have a problem with them doesn't mean that I condone it. Doesn't mean that okay. I'm for it. Okay. Because I'm going I'm to I'm I'm ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. And I'm going to try to make it more realistic, right? Because my argument to what you just said is probably not that hard to really turn your back on your child. You can tell them you don't condone it. You still ain't finna rescind your love from them. And you know what? She probably got to just accept it because she going to live her life regardless. But here's the thing. Would you date a bisexual man? No, and I don't have to accept she because she's my daughter. I cannot talk to her Why? like I don't talk to other people. I'm pretty sure you, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't know. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't. Okay, oh, first of all, let me tell you something. If my daughter, if my daughter, that's what I'm saying. My I asked her, would, she, would you date a bisexual? That's what I She wouldn't her. willingly do it. She said, no, she wouldn't willingly do it. I said, absolutely it. not. Okay. I would not willingly do it. Okay, so if you was if you was feeling this dude and he told you he was bisexual, you would dismiss him. I would not be feeling him anymore because that would turn okay, me off. Okay, then. So I would the not be attracted so to that. So here's the Trish. Here's the example I'm trying to press to you, right? Get the example with your child, but there is a I'm not finna do shit. I'm not finna put you out my life because you're my child. The reason I use the bisexual man is because you would have the clear option to put them out of your life. I hear you, Trish. I hear you, Trish. I hear you. I hear you. Let me break like, this I, down. I hear you. Jehovah's you to, Witness, on, on, wait, they wait, have wait, a wait, problem wait. with... I Listen, let me break this down. I have a family, a close family friend. She's Jehovah's Witness. Her daughter is, 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 is a stud. She has a problem with it. That's why she disowned her daughter <laughs> when her daughter came out. That's why for years as her daughter was a teenager, dressed like a boy, had boy haircuts, lived like a boy, did everything like a boy, she... Said it was a phase, I'm going to put a dress on you. It's a phase, I'm going to give you girl hairstyles. Why her daughter cried and was uncomfortable. That woman had a problem with homosexuality. And that's why she forced what she wanted on her child. I don't have a problem with it. I don't agree with it. I don't condone it. And I'm not going to be it. However, I will freaking hang out. I got friends that are not straight. I got some transgender people that's been in my life, all these things. And when they around me, they know exactly how I feel, but they don't never feel judged by me. And they don't never think I got a problem with how they live in their life. I don't, I don't want to hear them talking about their sexual experiences because you know what? It's certain shit. I don't want my homegirl telling me about her sex with her husband. You know what I'm saying? Cause I just don't go that far. So what I'm saying is, is a problem is a problem and and, and, and a lifestyle overall, is a lifestyle. But if you got an overall problem with that type of conversation, then anybody having that conversation would be a problem. But you would do you. OK, I just want to stay right there because it's like making my point. You talk about sexual conversation, right? You wouldn't want to sit around and have him have a sexual. This is really trying to make the same point. So is a is a couple is a straight couple is two straight couples sitting around having a conversation about their sexual escapades and shit cool because I know I've been on this channel and heard y'all talk about sex all the time. That's cool. It depends on where it goes. I did you hear what I just said? Did you didn't hear what I just said? But when, my thing is this when, is it is conversation wrong? To, is it wrong? I, sometimes Trish, Trish, it my, does go wrong Trish, for me. me. Sometimes it for is wrong you, for me. For you, for you. Yes, but if sometimes it's for it goes you, wrong. wait a minute, wait a minute. Can wait a minute. I say something? Because I gotta go. I just wanted to give my little positive vibe before you guys continue. So since we're talking about relationships and all this stuff, a really, really, really good movie for all of us to watch since it is Lovers Month and all that. And we're talking about kids and parenting. 
there's a TV show on Netflix called From Scratch, and it's um, starring Zoe Zaldana. I recommend that everybody on here watch it. It's really good. If you watch it with, like, you know, I wouldn't probably put your kids involved in that one. But it's a really good movie. Well, it's a drama series, but it's like a movie. You'll be hooked. But I have to go. I love you guys and hope that you guys can work. And I can say all men and women, do your best to be good parents and be good co-parents if you're not together. We'll see you next time. Bye, you guys. So many cycles and dynamics, but that is um, because a woman has numbers off emotions that she needs to fix the same way men have them. We've had a great night. It's been great with you guys. But we got to continue this conversation later. We have done literally two shows in one. This show will be a special show that will be for the members. This part of the show would not be on here tomorrow. So if you got to see this part of the show, congratulations. You just got an exclusive. For those who are members, you will be able to come back and watch this show. If you're, you know, if you're a member, you didn't be able to catch this show, you'd be able to see it tomorrow. People, we really appreciate you so much. This is the world's greatest gas mask tribe. Shout outs to y'all are coming through with that fire and just kind of just stirring up the conversation. Y'all, we got to come back for a part two, bro. You got to come back and we really got to be able to dissect this on a you know, bigger level with Trish. Also, people, we have a few shows this week that'll be popping off. I wish I could turn my camera on. I'm so sorry. But I'm going to get, yep, there we go. We got those shows popping off this week. It's going to be going crazy, man. We're going to have a nice, nice week going on, man. Tribe style. Tribe Nation. You did what I mean. And, uh, man, we're going to talk about this in the back office. We're going to, you know what I mean? But uh, I got to let y'all go, man. We held you guys too much. If you guys are members already, that's awesome. I, I love I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. And honestly, man, y'all make sure y'all tune in tomorrow. We got Trish first shows tomorrow. And y'all, you will see Get Real with Miss Vic. That's turning tomorrow. So y'all tune in for that. Try. Try. Look, she said it was great. Thank y'all so much. Y'all have a good one. Take care. Yeah, smooth. Turn that music up for them. If we can vibe out a little bit before we get in the back office. Go ahead. Become a member. Become a member. <laughs> Y'all make sure y'all come to Time to Flow Thursdays. Yeah. yeah.